welcome back to Cross Stitch to Glow. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And this is the channel about cross stitch. We have gotten um, a little boost in subscribers. So there might be some of you who are checking out our floss tube for the first time after seeing one of our extras. Because one of our extras <laughs> has been... You guys really liked it. You guys were great. <laughs> so if you, if, wonderful. if you were here because you watched the most expensive patterns... Um, seems like a lot of people did and the yeah. comments on that video are really fun. We were really glad It seems like people understood that we were trying to be super respectful and not judging anyone's purchase choices Just like sharing the data because it's interesting. Yeah, and I will say that like knowing a couple of those patterns How expensive they were and then I saw a couple go on eBay for less than that and it was hard not to like Snap them up. I didn't I was good <laughs> But one of the patterns on there that is in the top 25 sold for $83 yesterday oh, wow. one of the ones that I like and that's much lower than and top I 25. Buy it. And I didn't buy it. I'm Aren't you so proud, of, proud of you. I'm so proud of you. So if you're stitch here, you stitch, <laughs> stitch for Sash, Stephanie. Stitch for Sash. Um, but if you are here because of that video, let's, oh, first of all, the next extra we're going to put out is going to be the most expensive kits. So if you liked that video, we are going to do the most expensive kits. That'll come out a week from today, unless something happens, in which case it'll be, but it's, I'm doing the research for that this week. So it okay. should be our next extra. Let's do a quick reintro for anyone okay. new. Allison, how did you get into stitching? What do you like to stitch? Um, okay, so I got into stitching about six years ago. Um, I did it as a kid, but you know, life. Um, so then I got back into it and I like stitching um, romantic. Stephanie's been making fun of me recently for all my romantic stitches. She um, does like to stitch things about her and her husband and I um, I, that's just not, it's. Well, because I started to make a gift for my husband. Well, no, so I made. That's I don't how think I people should not stitch like sweet well, romantic gifts. I just I mean that, that like I do have an abundance of romantic. That's a, a and, it's, and her husband's super supportive. Actually, both of our husbands are very yeah. supportive of our stitching, and so it's very sweet. It's just um, like my husband and I didn't get each other Valentine's Day gifts this year. <laughs> no, we didn't either. Well, he brought me um, a pack of those orange slice gummies and a candy bar, which was perfect. <laughs> I got him. I got him a, a like a heart shaped box of chocolate, but it's oh. kind of a joke. Um, because in Bulgaria, where we used to live in Eastern Europe together, and in um, there, you don't celebrate your birthday, you celebrate your name day. My husband's name is Valentine. So his name day is Valentine's Day. Aww. And there, you take a box of chocolates to your coworkers. So I always buy him a box of chocolates and say, like, take it to your coworkers. And then he says, I'm not Bulgarian, because he's, we were just living there. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. And then he eats the chocolate. So yeah. I just, I kept that joke going. But That's anyway, good. so you like to stitch a lot of romantic. So I stitch romantic things, which, and they're not all like, lo like love notes and stuff. One was I stitched the Green Bay Packers uh, Lambeau Field because that's we like gotta what show he that wanted sometime. on the wall. We gotta show that sometime. <laughs> there are so many people who are Packers fans who would want to see that's that. That's true. That's true. I'll show it sometime. Um, so I like to stitch um, things for other people, um, things that I know that they'll like. But then for myself, I like like scary stuff. I like Christmas stuff. I like... I like a lot of... You're a Halloween all year, Christmas all year, Disney all year type of oh, stitcher. Oh, yeah, Disney, yes. I love princesses and crowns and all the, all the things. Yeah, um, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so I got into stitching last year. So when I was little, our grandmother taught me um, how to needlepoint, but it was basically just tent stitch. So like cross stitching feels like that. Um, obviously it counted versus stamped, but it was six. So I wouldn't yeah. be doing stamped cross stitch anyway, most likely. Um, though you see that I don't know, you're... Like, you're quite advanced also, so she was um, passing at age three. And then we also had um, another grandmother who taught us sewing, and so we sewed and quilted um, all the time growing up. But then, unfortunately, all of our grandmothers passed away when I was um, before, well, one the one who taught me how to needlepoint when I passed away when I was six, so she didn't even get to teach you. And the one who was really great with sewing passed away when we were 13, but she had to move away for medical reasons when we were, when I was 11. Yeah. So like, I feel like all this stuff is like coming back to my childhood and American girl dolls and like, <laughs> um, and then I feel like what happened was I discovered boys and part like, you know, and the life stuff. Yeah. yeah and like I had friends and hanging out and it just kind of dropped all this stuff. And now that I've had my kids, I'm kind of like coming back around to it. But I am a, my, by trade, I'm a travel writer. So I've been a professional travel writer for the last, um, eight years actually this year will be nine years and um October September October which is crazy um and so I have all these travel photographs and and um Allison charted one of them and gave it to our parents because it was like my son but like looking away at a beach 
And I was like, oh, like I have so many travel photos that would make really cool cross-stitch patterns. Let me like start converting them. And then Allison suggested I check out some like YouTube videos she on how to cross-stitch <laughs> to make some models. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then I found like the Giddy Stitcher and through her I found X Stitch and Chill. And then I found Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. And then I found Stitchy Friends. Well, uh, oh. Stitchy Tear Reads. Stitchy and then I found... Um, Jane and Jewelry running with scissors, and then I just like didn't stop. And also, my son was starting to sing the Vanderpump Rules theme song, and I realized, oh, I can't watch this stuff anymore. He's getting too old, and so what, putting floss tube on, like as I'm watching my kids, is so relaxing. So even when I'm not stitching, so now I'm watching way too much floss tube because even when I'm not stitching, I'm watching <laughs> floss tube. Well, <laughs> my husband's like. <laughs> My husband watches Floss Dude with me, so very supportive, yeah. So that's kind of our stitching journeys. And um, today, as you saw in the title, we have a bunch of FFOs, and some of the FFOs are related to, like we have a bunch of FFOs. And um, some of these FFOs are related to two big announcements that we're gonna do. And then, so we're gonna do all that at the top after we do our like normal congratulations and community stuff. So, um, before we dive into our own stitching, we do like to stop and thank people that mentioned us on their channel and then congratulate people who are celebrating things in the community. So um, some really fun channels that we love mentioned us this week, uh, Lollipop Stitches, yeah. who, did you see her video on FF, she FFO'd? I, yeah, like I her, did go back and watch that. It was really cool. I love the paint on, the red paint, and the, or the black paint and the red paint. And, it looks great. So like, if you're, she's British and she stitches like a lot of like modern and dark. Like if you like a witchy stitcher piece, definitely go check her out. She's super fun. Um, and she's coming back. So she's, so a lot of people know her because she's been around for a long time and then like took a little hiatus. And so now she's back and it's so exciting. Um, watch. Really fun. Two Needle Pulling Thread mm -hmm. talked about the most expensive patterns video and we love them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so happy so many people like got it and yeah. like, commented and oh my top would be this my top would be that or this is a story or like Walmart, they told us some yeah. of the stories of some of the, of the, some of the companies why? that we didn't know like yeah, why, why those companies are so highly valued yeah um but um they mentioned us and i love two noodles pulling thread if you're not watching them especially if you're like a primarily an ada or a lugana stitcher and you want to see the same beautiful pieces people are stitching on linen stitched on ada and lugana they do a lot of projects that way and they do a lot of ffos and mm -hmm. then they also stitch a lot of things I like. Like, um, she just, uh, I think one of them just showed their finish of the Christmas bell sampler that I'm oh, stitching, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. So check them out if you are not. I think most of you guys probably are, but if you're not, and then stitching by the shore, yeah, who we love. She, we do love. She we love watching her. Um, said that she had a piece that she needed to spend a, like a little bit of time to finish, and she saw one of our videos. She's like. Well, they have long videos, like, and she said she was finishing the piece as the video was finishing because it was like an hour and a half video. Oh, and so, she, had, she asked us a question. She I, I commented, yeah. Okay, so good, good. She's going to join the um, Fab Four fan Beatles style that we're hosting, which we're excited about. So, Yay. yeah. Um, much more on that during the so new go, start. Go see her, so, to see her start for the Fab yeah. Four. And uh, she bought the pattern. I don't think she started it yet. Okay. But um, okay. definitely check out Laura from Stitching by the Shore. And then um, Jessie Marie does stuff. She said in her video like I'm just gonna tag the people that I've been watching lately and she tagged us and we love her so that was very cool to see cool. and then um Whisker City Stitcher who she's new to me um she mentioned the video that uh, the most expensive pattern videos but she, the, she had some cool perspective on it because she runs estate sales and okay. she also is going to be running like she's pulling craft stuff from the estate sales she's running to do like a craft only online auction so I definitely check her out if you like like I mean it's a it's a floss too but if you like a background of somebody who's doing estate sales which I think was it's yeah interesting it's to really all interesting yeah Hathaway Stitchers which um love we love them stitchers. and oh do all the floss too follow them and don't but I'm not gonna talk about them very long right now because I'm gonna talk about them more at the end in floss tube university and then um, Sarah from Memphis Air E, who we just adore, mm -hmm. and who's also stitching one of the. No, she did. She says very clearly in her video she borrowed it, but she's stitching one of the patterns that was on the twenty five most expensive list, yeah. and her stitch is so beautiful. And so definitely go check her out if you mm -hmm. want to see some fancy. She stitches everything. She's an all the things stitcher, 
but she's like her fancy lady stitching is very very pretty so thank you guys so much for mentioning us we really appreciate it um it's so exciting to just like be in the community yes. like that's yeah. what we wanted um the interaction is perfect <laughs> <laughs> it, it cuts through the you know cross stitching is can be a lonely hobby yeah. you don't like I have you to talk to about it. But you did but it for I five did years. For a long time. I've only been stitching it for like almost a year now. So Floss Tube has been really cool to just, you can just pick it up and start a video and you're with a friend. And, and there's so many the, people. The that, comments and the interactions make that even more real and even more like, like a true community. Yeah. So we love that. So. And if you're not a Floss Tuber, but you have an Instagram account, we love connecting with people who. Absolutely. Because you know, it is a lot of like work and not everyone has time to sit in front of a cell phone and talk at yeah. the wall so i there's a lot of people i've connected with off on um on instagram who don't run floss tubes but who i check out their work every day yeah so um thank you guys all right so now we wanted to do some birthdays so um happy birthday to helen d happy birthday. michaela from cinematic stitches emily from prince rose cottage quilts and ryan from cross stitching smiles so um happy birthday, happy birthday. And then um, some people in the community were celebrating some wins. So Sammy J hit 2,000 subscribers. Good and I love her channel. She does a vlog style channel. So if you enjoy vlog style, definitely check her out. Um, and she finished Lady of the Flag last year. Oh, really? Yeah, so I in really her whip, really I think it's that. either her whip or her finished braid, she showed it again. Um, lady Lugana hit 2,000 subscribers. Oh, we love God. her. If you like a fancy lady, she's a, she does stitch all the things, but yeah. a lot of fancy ladies. Um, Emily C hit 10,000 subscribers. I saw that. And Buster. And Buster. Buster. I don't know. Go give support. It. Yeah. Go give support to Emily C. Yeah. And um, Jane and Julie, I, like I said last night, I was, well, no, I mentioned them earlier, but I was watching their new video last night. Like, every time I see their videos pop up, it was just like. Well, like, just, special note to Jane, like, we're so I happy. also have a hard time, you know, with life sometimes. <laughs> she has different hard times than I have. But it's always nice to hear her say one more day. Yeah. Um, and they hit 7,000 subscribers, but most importantly, they're back and we're so excited to see them back. They, uh, you know, they will probably never see this, and, but, and, but they mean so much to me. And I have, um, their whip parade, I feel like should be up for an Oscar. But anyway, um, all right. So those are the community. So now let's get into our FFOs and our big Yay. announcements. So I'm going to let you go. Well, let's do the two FFOs that are not related to the announcements okay. first. Okay. And that way the last one can just be kind of... All right, you go first. Okay. All right. So this is my... We both went to the framers, guys. <laughs> I went twice. <laughs> okay. So this is my FFO. We all saw it um, a couple weeks ago when it wasn't finished. This is an anniversary romantic stitch it's I so did cute. for my husband. Um, I started it on an anniversary on December 26th. I How many, what was your, it was your nine year? Nine years married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's still like this lovey-dovey after <laughs> nine years. It's very sweet. Nine years married. And uh, he picked out the frame with me. It's so good. Lovey-dovey. They're turtle doves. I know. So ah! <laughs> I'm cracking And I started up. it on the second day of Christmas. Oh, which is your anniversary. Which is my anniversary. <laughs> Two turtle doves. Um, so yeah, that's my. And this is the one where she picked it up from the framers. It was like too long this way it was, mm -hmm. it, was like, it was very it was, awesome look so this so imagine if this side was here but this side was here. Yeah. <laughs> and but and i've never had that happen no it's anything so crazy it was so weird and it made me feel seasick looking and i got it. home before i even noticed it because i was just like oh it's done and like moved on but oh it was it would have bothered so me. good yeah she, just life lesson she saw it she saw how crazy it was she took it back they fixed it and yeah they're really nice no questions it. asked yeah very nice so Oh, we love it. And it's on Christmas Red by yeah. Zweigert. Yeah, it's just in it. I'm going to yeah. get like a, quart, a fat quarter of Christmas Red linen. Like, it's the perfect it's like, the Christmas It's the perfect one. Christmas one. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just stitched with DMC. Um, and even the the shiny bits are the DMC Diamond. Diamond? Diamante. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I think that's how they pronounce it on Bridget Jones's diary. So that's how I'm going to pronounce Let's it. Let's go with that. Yeah. All right. So this is my yeah. FFO. This is a perfect brand for it too. Is oh. Darling Starling by Modern Folk Embroidery. Uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. Last September for Sampler September, uh, Jacob put out this tiny little sampler, and um, it was the first stitch along I joined because I was like, "Oh, that's so pretty." And someone was like, 
okay, so you're doing it. And they just tagged me that like, we were doing it. I think it was Cross Stitch Crazy on Instagram and Shaz Bruce on Instagram. I'll mention, I'll tag the two Instagram accounts of the people that I did the stitch along with. Um, and they both finished like way before me. But um, I was having a hard time because, so I stitched this on 28 count make clay. But this is the first piece where I ever just pick my own colors and they do not show up that great on camera, but in real life they show up. But I think the frame really, really helps the colors that I picked yeah. and you, more. You can't see it on, t on the, the screen, but it's even got gold metallic in the so wings. So in the wings and the eyes are where like empty spaces, but I filled them with a, like a little bit of gold and then the gold. So in real life, they sparkle a little bright. bit and yeah. the frame brings it out. Yeah. But, um, and then I changed the initials of my family members <coughs> to the to pink and then the number 23. Um, so I love it. I love it. I love the frame. Um, my husband likes it. Um, the picture I posted on Instagram had like a piece of floss here that I couldn't tell in the picture if it was like I messed up the pattern somehow. Like yeah. if I had like left a hanging thread and then yeah. took it in. But luckily it was just like fuzz that lives. And I'm sure that's happened. It's yeah. not. But no, I love this. So this, <laughs> this is the, because I started stitching last summer. Like I started researching cross, like creating, I started creating cross stitch patterns last May. But I only started stitching in the middle of the summer last year. So, like, I started charting in May and then watched floss tube from June on. But I only bought supplies to cross stitch in July. So, this September sampler is like one of my first finishes. I think it was my first, it wasn't my first linen start, but it was my first linen finish. Well, you did a really good My job. first frame. Like, like I'm just, I'm, I'm loving it. Because when I started, I didn't know that I would want to stitch anything about my own patterns because I didn't know what else yeah. existed. So for the first six years, I did not stitch anything but my own patterns. Yeah. So like we didn't know that there was like, so yeah. I love stitching my own patterns, but it's fun to also stitch all the things. I'm a stitch all the things. I'm a stitch You're all the things. definitely an all the things yeah. person. All right. So these next three FFOs are yeah. my patterns. So you guys have all seen these finishes. Well, if you've been in here around, you've seen all but this is Arches National Park. So I took my three models. Yeah, I already had one of my models who already was, and actually I have it. So the first, my first model that I finished won a ribbon at the state fair. It did, y'all. Um, <laughs> which if you, if you want to know I about- I said that surprise. I'm not, I'm not surprised that- No, no, no. It, but what like, was surprising was we've that- We've never done that before. I made you enter the state fair and with She me. entered it for me and- So um, I took, this was the first model I finished and I took it to the state fair. We, and we have a video, an extra, all about our experience going to the Oklahoma State Fair. It was super fun. But anyway, so this, I FFO'd this myself because I had to for the state fair. But the, uh, my other models were just sitting around in like a Amazon project bag because I like wasn't ready to get them framed. But then it was like, okay, I, I want to start the store. We got to get these- FFO. So this is, is Arches National Park number one double arch. And the names are kind of crazy, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Because I want both the place, the specific place, and the like bigger place in the name. So um and this is Stitch Now 14 Count Ada. And I think the frame they they picked out was really so good. good. Oh, you let them pick out? I picked out some of them and they picked out this one because I was this one I was stuck on. Oh really? This one well, I couldn't really figure good. out what color matte to put on. And I couldn't figure out what frame, and so they helped me pick it out. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even know you could ask them that. I'm just like, mm, And ahead. then this is Iceland number one, uh, Rainisfira Beach. Rainisfira Black Sand Beach, which when I was stitching, I was just calling it Black Sand Beach, and then I had to make a final. And this frame I picked out, because it doesn't look like Icelandic ruins. It's beautiful. Not I don't know ruins. what that looks like. I don't know what that ruins. looks like. But like the, like, um. No, I know what yeah. ruins are, but I don't know what Icelandic oh, okay. ruins Well, to me, like. they kind of look like that. They definitely look, um. Like it goes, I, but I love it. Looks it. good. And then um, this is the one that you guys saw most recently. Uh, so this is Grand Teton Park, no, no, Grand Teton National Park number one. I'm just so proud of you. Autumn in the mountains. It's so good. I love it. It's so look good. Look at this like leafy frame. It's beautiful. So okay, so the announcement is the shop is live. Yay! And all three of these are listed. All four of these patterns that I just showed are listed. And then a couple other, one other one is listed now and a couple other ones will be. So now And I'm your sister, so I get to brag on you. Like, she works so hard, you guys. She's worked so hard on this for like almost a year. You've been thinking about it, planning it, yeah, learning it. May she had to learn year. how to cross it so that she could open a store to expand her, her photography. I mean, like, oh my gosh, you Thank worked you. hard. Thank you. So... I know designers can't say that about themselves, but I'm a sister. So well, and like, it's funny because it's like, I'm not a, I, I don't draw, I do photographs, but yeah. really I'm a travel writer. So my photographs are always 
things to illustrate my writing, but every once in a while a magazine will okay. contact me and publish a photo. And so it's like, oh yeah, like I am a good photographer. I just think of myself as a writer who does photography. Yeah. Not as like, I don't like sell photos. Like I don't do like stock photo sales right. or anything. Right. But no, I like my photos but and they're, they're pretty. Good. Yeah, <laughs> they're really good. So um, I printed out some of the patterns. So for now in the Etsy shop, all the patterns are PDFs. When you, if, and, and anybody who wants, and I know most of you guys, most of you guys are not going to go buy a pattern. Um, so I appreciate you watching this part to get to the stitching. And in the long run, all shop news will be at the end of the video. Like if I'm showing a pattern that I'm stitching that's also for sale, I'll mention it. But shop news will be at the end going but forward. we're also allowed to celebrate. But all today your it's like a big, yeah. it's like a big day. It's a big deal. Like. So, um. This is the one pattern that you guys haven't seen yet that is already listed, so I'll show you guys this. So this is um, Pompeii number one, Field of Flowers. This was taken this. in Pompeii in Italy. Mm -hmm. I love this one. So <clears throat> where there's a model stitch, the cover will be the model stitch, and where there isn't one, it will be the mock-up. And I'm only gonna release patterns that don't have a model stitch if they're like 20,000 stitches or more, because then you can know that the mock-up, if the mock-up is good, it's it's It'll gonna look, look good. good yeah. Um, whereas like on the little ones, you really need to stitch it to know what it's really gonna look like. But um, anyway, so that is the model or the mock-up of this photograph. So you can kind of see the photograph becomes more of like an impressionist style painting when you convert it from pixels to stitches. Just because Although, like from this far away, they look well. From this, so they look, good. They look like, identical. You'll be able to tell, you know. It's but like, um, yeah, but up this, close you can tell a bit. But. This is on sixteen count and it's eight by ten, so it's like okay. twenty thousand stitches. Okay. So it will look a lot closer than like a little one. Yeah. So if you get a pattern, if you buy the pattern, first of all, there's one price for patterns that have model stitches, and then there's another a lower price. It's about twenty five. I think it's about twenty percent or twenty five percent less for patterns that don't, just because like. Take, doing the model adds like 50 hours worth of work to the process like because like to go from like it's like I had to go to Italy I mean I obviously didn't <laughs> go to Italy for the pattern but like right. I went to Italy took the pictures edited the photos converted into the pattern went through and made sure all the conversion was right then turn it into like something sellable and then so on top of that to then also do a model stitch which adds like 50 hours so they're just different price tiers. So patterns with models right now, patterns with model stitches are $12 and patterns without model stitches are $9.50. Um, and, and, and you can use the 20% off coupon floss tube 20 between now and March 10th. I'm not advertising that on Instagram. It's just for you guys between now and March 10th, anything you want to buy in the store is 20% off. And that is off of like whether you're buying a $9.50 pattern or $12 pattern you can get 20, or all of them, whatever you want 20% off anything you buy. That's awesome. And that's the thank you guys for watching the channel and supporting me. And you guys have been so like kind and um, so, okay. So when you buy the pattern, you get the cover sheet. I do have to go back in before this video goes live and edit and add. There's a little bit of cover information I forgot to put on it. So you get the original photo. And again, these are PDFs. I just print my dad, my dad printed them out for me. Um, and then it's a, a family business, a paragraph about the picture, like, a little bit of information about like where the picture was taken and kind of like my thoughts about like what inspires me about that place or like a little bit of the history or just kind of like, you know, a little blurb about the, about the pattern in the picture. Then you get a resources list, which we'll come back to in a minute because that's our second big announcement. And then if there's a model stitch, you get information about the model stitch that like if this was stitched on blah, 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 but, and there are mistakes in it. Um, and then a little bit about me as a, writer and a photographer and then the, i didn't have them print both patterns like all the patterns because that's crazy with the amount of colored ink um if yeah if there's a model you, this will have show like model information right here and then the pattern you'll see a big mock-up of the pattern some of times i can't get that in because etsy has weird limits to like how big the files can be um, oh, that's interesting. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm. Then you'll also get, you'll get a color chart and a black and white chart. So you get a chart where it's um, symbols on color. I'm not going to show the whole thing just because like, you just crazy. made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's a chart with symbols on black and white or yeah, black and white. So it is pattern keyboard compatible. I use markup XP. Um, so I 100% know it's compatible with both of those programs. They were 
charted in max stitch and nobody i've never heard a single complaint about using those programs with a max stitch chart you're also welcome to print it out allison has printed out my charts before mm -hmm. and stitched from paper i don't know if i would personally do that for like a 16 page chart but like these smalls are <laughs> a page and a half so okay. then you get um floss list now i learned yesterday that i can organize the floss list by number oh good so good. the floss list is organized by number but over here you also see the number of stitches and skein like the number of stitches so some colors on a full coverage piece don't have that many stitches so you can decide like i try to make my cutoff like 20 or 25 but there are some colors where you just it might be necessary that you have 10 of it whatever so you can make choices about if you want like you could, you could say like, oh, there's only 29 of this. Do I want to do this? Or I'm going to pull a strand from another project because it's only 29 stitches. Like, so you have all the information and then up here, it tells you the size and, um, up here it says what it was charted for, but then over here it tells you 14, 16, and 18 count. And of course you're also welcome to do 20, 25, 11, whatever you want to do. It's your pattern. Um, once you buy it, but, but they were designed to fit, but, but well, no. I going forward, all patterns are designed where they're at least one of the counts has a standard frame size, but That's not none of the ones that are up in the shop <laughs> right now are like that because they were charted before I fully understood. And then this one is not because this one is like I um this one is not as tall as you would expect it to be for how wide it is. Okay. But going so not the ones that are there now, but in the future. Sorry. But also that page is in the Etsy listing, so you can see what the sizes are. So you can see if it fits a normal frame or not. Oh, okay. Um, so, oh, okay, resources. So that's our, so that's the first big announcement. The shop is live. Yay. If you want to purchase something, thank you. And the, the code is FlossTube20, and the link is in the bio, and we are across the globe on there. And also, Allison purchased a bunch of pens to make needle miners. It's going to do, like, a cool vintage upcycled needle minder like drop but she's not gonna have needle minders up there all the time but she will occasionally be like dropping things and we'll always mention that on here and on instagram too yeah all also, right so just for fun they're not like gonna be like unique super cool well they're fine i think they're super cool and fun but she's not like gonna be like making a living off of needle minders no. it's just like she likes to make needle minders and so I like it when it's just something extra that matches yeah, on it. And yeah. so, that's cool. so she bought um, on eBay using my eBay tips. I used all the eBay tips from our last and extra. And I still ended up using the buy now. But no, that's okay because you but knew. But it was a good price. But you knew. Yes. Like you did the research you knew. Yes. Because um, somebody in the comments said like, I sell buy now all the time, but I don't over list. And it's like, well, if somebody does the research, then sees the buy now price is good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We're just saying sometimes the buy now price is, is, is not good is on the higher end of like what's possible. Yeah. All right. The other thing, so the second big announcement is we are adding another type of video to our channel. So right now we do floss tubes every every other Monday. And on the in-between Mondays, we do like extras, like we did the most expensive patterns. We did like eBay Stitching tips. Canvas. Yeah, well, like things that we would love to talk about in these, but like these are already too long. So we can't talk about them here too. On Thursdays, we're gonna add another type of video. So we have since so with, since we launched the channel in September because I joked all summer that I was learning how to cross stitch mm -hmm. at Floss Tube University. Mm -hmm. So we have been in every Floss Tube mentioning um, things we learn on Floss Tube. We call that section of Floss Tube University. Well, we are now becoming professors at Floss Tube University as well. <laughs> and on Thursdays we're going to put out lessons, but they're not really for you guys. They're really for people who buy the patterns who are like true beginners. So. Um, in here, for people who buy the patterns who maybe are new to cross stitch, it lists resources, and then one of the resources is going to be this Floss Tube University playlist that's going to go up. I debated putting the videos up on like Teachable or something, but it doesn't make sense to like hide them behind a wall when like anyone can just enjoy yeah. it, like can use them. So I broke up how to cross stitch one of these big patterns and like one like a like one of my patterns, but like one of the bigger ones into over a hundred mini topics so that people can just get like their individual questions answered. Mm -hmm. And we filmed last Sunday, we filmed the first four of them. Mm -hmm. So today is the 25th. I think so. <sighs> okay. So like, and you're like the perfect person to do it from the beginning because you had to learn recently from the beginning. Well, also like, because I'm a travel writer, I write out like how to take a plane how to like drive from Oklahoma City to Dallas. And I, it's not like a Google Maps where it's like, 
you know, step by step. It's more like all the things you need to consider and like, you know, the, I'm used to breaking down big topics into very small ideas. And so it just like, that's how my brain works. So I broke down cross stitch right now. I have 110 ish topics and I'm sure more will pop up. Yeah. So the only bad thing about putting them on YouTube is we can't just like put them all out at once. So the resource library won't be like complete for a long time. But this way, anyone can enjoy them, even right. people who don't buy my patterns. And we're working on building that. So um, the day before President's Day, we filmed the first four. And they're shorter. Now, some of them are still like 20 minutes, but that's short for us. <laughs> but they're going to come out on Thursdays. And they're going to have a logo. I made it. I designed a logo that says Floss Tube University. So if you're like, I know how to do a loop start, Stephanie. I know what 14 count means. <laughs> then you don't need to watch it. But if you just like us talking... There, you, you were welcome to watch it. But the point of I those videos, <laughs> well, some of them might be more interesting than others. And also people know what they know, but maybe there's yeah. like something in. Anyway, so the point of those videos is for people who buy the patterns eventually to have a library with resources. So if someone decides they want to stitch one of my patterns that they never stitched before, they could watch that and learn just like I watched and learned all last year. But I was like having to bounce between channels. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, also, the cool thing about those videos is that it's kind of like a nice refresher for us because we're seeing, oh, you know something I don't know yet, yeah. or I know something you don't know yet. And so, like, it's anyway, those are going to come out on Thursdays. Watch them if you want to, but we're not trying to insult you by being like, what? So, they're between <laughs> 14 and 28 count. You know, like, yeah. we know the purpose of them is that we are creating a course because we are now. Because we've promoted ourselves to professors at Floss Tube University, <laughs> and we um, want, I like that we're both self-taught, and yeah. we're like, you know what, experts. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of like. No, I know. know. Yes, I know. Anyway, so those are our two big announcements. I, obviously, I have uh, what's that called? Imposter, Imposter syndrome. syndrome. Yes. Yeah, I for sure have that. You, yeah, that is. Yeah, it's okay. Most women have imposter syndrome because the world is designed in a way that makes women like feel a bit, little bit gaslit or like. Mm -hmm. You'll be in a situation where, like, you know more than, like, man, like, mansplaining and all that stuff. So, anyway, the two big announcements. The shop's open. Use the code FLOSS220. The link's in the description. Wait, it's also just on Etsy and our cross to low. The second announcement is, look, you will see videos from us on Thursdays that you might be like, these are different. We're creating a resource library for the pattern buyers. But you are welcome to watch the videos, and um, you're also welcome to call us professor if you yeah. just decide you want to. Help my self-esteem, guys. Come on. And um, <laughs> because we're filming so many videos, like, on those days, like, we're filming, like, back-to-back, -back, we're going to get sweatshirts made so that we don't have to, like, Keep change changing. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so right now we're just wearing black in the videos, but eventually we're going to have, like, Actual clothes. Yeah. We're like, going to have a uniform, guys. We're excited. So, anyway, we're still like, well, we're also sisters, and, like, if no one watched us, we would still be doing we're this. still so. doing it. <laughs> All right. That's uh, oh, okay. all we're going to stitch. Now let's talk about stitching. Let's stitch. Okay. 30 minutes later. Woohoo. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me find my iPad under this pile. Oh, no. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> well, um, Allison, did you have any finishes? I did. I had a few. And I mean it, I had three. <laughs> I had one. I did not have a few. I have three. Okay, should I show you the... I have the pattern, but you don't really need to see the pattern. But the first <laughs> one, because it's done. The first one is by Liz... The pattern is by Liz Matthews. Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, and it is loved by you, because I'm a romantic. Apparently. Oh, that's very sweet. Are you going to get framed? What are you going to yes, do Yes, of course it? I'm going to get framed. So, in the model stitch, she has Oh, I it. love the framing. I know, stitch. it's like... She's got so much like room on all the sides, and I was like, maybe, but I don't want it quite that big because that would be. Well, she's like she's very into 17. typography, and her um, a lot of actually like in haul. I'll talk about the pattern we got in um, for the Patreon. Mm -hmm. She's like got a lot of like these typography patterns that are really cool. Yeah. Well, I I'm thinking about joining her Patreon because I do love her stuff. Um. But, and that's how you know we don't share PDF patterns because no, I'm don't. in it we and don't. she would have to join it. Yeah. So that's it. It's so cute. I, I don't know how I'm going to frame it, but I, it's definitely gonna, getting its own frame. It's going to be. I think you should do it like, like this, that, but not, maybe not quite as. Not as big. But I love that. I mean, I don't know. I love it. It's got a little bit of maybe, I mean, instead of, maybe don't do the whole thing at the top because you don't have as much at the top. Well, because when I cut the fabric, I was like, I'm not doing that. And then afterwards, I was like, maybe. And it was kind of too late. <laughs> maybe wash it and see what the fabric looks like first. You don't like the chocolate? 
<laughs> it's a Valentine's stain. It makes it extra romantic, right? I eat one eye crack. I didn't let my child touch my finish today, so I really can't talk, but I'll show you. I'll tell you. She didn't do anything to it. But yeah, it needs to get washed before it gets. Maybe um, wash it friends. and then decide what the margins are going to be. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I have a Tide pen. It's fine. Don't, don't act like it's a big deal. Just a little, just a little it's chocolate. It's fine. It's fine. What, what do you think detergent's for? <laughs> Son of a Stitch has a funny video where he talks about like, and it might have been on the Caterpillar CrossFit channel, but I think it was on his because he does videos for Caterpillar CrossFit sometimes now. Um, and uh, in it, he's like, here's some accessories. And one of the accessories are like, it's like unusual accessories or something. Yeah. One of the accessories was tweezers. No, no, chopsticks. Tweezers I have is heard also, a lot of people do that. Tweezers is also um, I use an accessory, tweezers. but uh, the chopsticks so you could eat your chips. Yeah. While you're stitching. I, I a guess, lot of people do that. I I'm, don't do that. I'm trying to like stitch less uh, or stitch more and eat less, but it's not really working. That would be the goal. Like a good goal to have. I don't have that as a goal, but that would be good. Okay. Sorry. For, okay. So for my second um, finish. finish, this is, the pattern is candy and I don't have it. It's right PDF. This is candy um, by Whittier Stitches. And it is free. It is a free pattern. And we'll list in the description under the Kofi Kofi section. You can find a link to get it for free. Right. So that's amazing to start out with. Um, I didn't want to stitch the whole thing right now, so I just stitched the cat. And she told me that um, the cat is named Tristan. It's very and cute. So I almost had um, a Franken Kitty, because man, I'm not good at backstitch. Um, but I think he turned out pretty good considering I'm not very good at backstitch. He's a little angly. I heard the... that what you're supposed to say is I, I'm not very good at that yet. I'm not very good at that yet. And then that really changes it. Okay. How you feel about it. Cause you'll get, you'll get good. With it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but it's stitched on 16 count. Um, I think it's goth by picture. This, this is really pretty. And, um, I love this fabric. I'm going, I can't, and I got a lot of it, so I can't wait to see what else to put on it. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be fun. That's really cool. Yeah, it looks so good. And the beads look so good. That's not, it's all DMC, called for DMC, but the beads are a different color. So if beads. you wanna know what Allison's, um, how much of a she is a get it done now or it's not getting done person, I have the call for beads. And she was gonna come pick them up, but she wasn't feeling good. And she was like, bring them on Sunday. And I was already coming over here with my candy that I'm just gonna show now since we're on the same pattern. Like, why show the pattern twice? Yeah. But anyway, so I have the beads and I have enough beads to give her. And she texts me like, never mind, don't worry about it. I'm just going to use what I have. <laughs> well, used, I am also they, they a look user great. you have. Personally. They look great. But yeah. she had 100% access to the call beads. I was like, I'm just beating it now. I wanted to beat it. It looks really good. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, you. Let me go ahead and show my. Yeah, uh, show yours now. So I'm stitching the full thing. The only thing is that I'm going to. The, the pattern, you can tell that she's an elf in the back story. She's an elf. I'm going to convert it to. Um, human by just changing the ear shape a little bit, but I don't like, cause I want it to be more of like a fancy lady. Yeah. Um, and I know fancy ladies can be mermaids, Some or whatever, of them are mermaids but I'm less of an elf person than I am just like a cool woman standing in the moon person. Yeah. But anyway, I was up here. I did 400 stitches. I did more of the green, um, and the yellow in the moon. And I did these flowers. Now these flowers are these leaves. These leaves are off by one. Oh, or nice. two or a half stitch like everywhere but in different ways so I can't just be like oh we'll just adjust it this way or they're all off oh, no. but looking at the pattern it's not gonna matter okay because by the time I get to the bottom of the moon and then get over to the, to her it's just gonna be where it is and like there's so much room between the things that if I'm off by one stitch in either direction it's fine then just the don't stuff, off of it yeah well it, it won't matter okay. like it literally will not matter so um I'm off I was doing it while I was watching 90 Day Fiance last night and we're getting to the weddings. And the weddings, as you know, if you watch 90 Day Fiance, are the most important episodes, <laughs> except for the tell-all. Okay. And um, so I was trying to watch, there's one couple where both, well, there's a few couples this year where the person who came to the United States to get married speaks Spanish, but they don't speak English, so the, their partner knows Spanish, so the American is also speaking Spanish all the time, so their whole stories are really subtitles and it's very hard to stitch and watch the subtitles. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was like looking up and, and then on dark fabric, even though I had a light, I, I just was off. Like I'm off by half an inch here. Somehow I'm off an inch or a stitch, half a stitch here, a whole stitch here somewhere. Um, who well, knows? Well, advice, you're not supposed to point out. Well, I'm mistakes. showing you guys for the integrity of, this is a good one where if you get 
like intimidated by dark fabric and you think it'd be off by a stitch or two, there's a lot of places where it wouldn't matter. There are places where it would matter and you would still need to pay attention. But like if there's enough room in between the different, like between the cat and the moon and the moon and the woman, that it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. So I'm stitching this on Dusk by, I think this is Pictureless Plus. It might be Fiber Auto Web. But it's a fabric I got on their Black Friday sale. So. I really like that color. Um, they had like a couple fabrics on Black Friday that were like, very discounted and i bought a few of them and i think after next month i will have used all of them which is kind of cool maybe i'll have one left that's cool anyway um on 28 count using the call for dmc and beads and she lives in this fairy bag by the 805 stitcher and i am stitching her with a vintage gibbs co Hoop, which people did say, like, they liked me talking about the vintage hoops on the eBay. Someone wants us to do an extra. I know, and I don't feel yet like I know enough about it, but in the future, I um, I bought some books and stuff already that I was, like, reading, so maybe in the future, when I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I know enough. Mm -hmm. But the Gibbs Co. Manufacturing Co. are the people that manufacture the princess hoops and the queen hoops and stuff, and these used to be, like, pretty cheap in comparison, and now it's, like, any vintage hoop is going for a lot of money, so mm -hmm. um, I know it's, like you know every person that likes them makes the market a little bit higher so uh but anyway if you want a vintage tube but you don't want to buy i used to say go get those but then the one i saw most recently was like the same price so yeah. and then that's not all the floss but a lot of the floss but i'm i just kitted from stash and i was missing a few but they're not until i get into her and so i'm like well i'll just get the moon done well, and then the stuff and, and then yeah, and then the see what yeah see what's missing yeah all right um what's your next finish okay my next finish is the one that took me oh both of the one finishes i just showed you were starts and finishes yeah so they were sacks okay so this is my finish of number one cinderella by book brooks books guys Publishing. allison finished her own birthday sell piece i did six weeks after her birthday yes i did <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to procrastinate on it and take a year. Oh, well, I also have another one that will yeah, take no, no. a year. <laughs> Both of my, well, one of my will take five, four years, so okay. don't worry about it. Well, there you go. We got you covered. So, um, I do, this is just Navy Ada, um, 16 count, I think, 16 count Navy Ada, DMC. Um, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, it's, look at those as beads. Julie and Jane would say, this is a done, not a finish, because I am not doing the crown or the choker. I just, no, it's a finish. Okay. All right. You're done with it. You're finished. I am done. <laughs> That's You're going to go get I'm a friend, right? Yeah. Um, oh, so pretty. The, the stool is not part of the pattern. The stool came from, I think, Make It Pink is the um, designer of just the stool part. And she made, she has a special, like, pattern that's just for these. So you had to buy this? Books. They're free. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're free. Um, and first you converted time all the Krennic to DMC. DMC, yeah. The, so it's not as sparkly as it probably. But the beads look great. It would be if I had done the right thing. And the colors look great. It's just not sparkly. But it's you not sparkly, yeah. didn't hate stitching it, so it's probably win win. Well, and it's not that I don't like stitching with Krennic because I've never used it. It's because this is going to be very expensive to buy five different. It was, it, was only, it was like five different Krennics for yeah. like a very small area, which I'm sure the effect of it in real life would be amazing. It was like the pattern. But you'll never know. Stitch is really cool. You'll never worry that like it's not because yeah. you'll never know. And it's so pretty. No, but I'm so proud of myself for beating. I was so intimidated by beating anything that I have a mill hill that's undone because I was so terrified of beating. But now I'm going to tackle it because yeah, you, I can you voluntarily it. beated that cat. Like. I did. I, I beated the cat. I was ready. I think it's so pretty, Allison. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Princess birthday sal. <laughs> and if you're stitching with us for Allison's print, hashtag princess birthday sal, make sure to tag us in any progress pictures. Like Stitching Jet posted her progress recently. Someone, oh, uh, Stitcher. Hannah, uh, Mrs. Hannah Wilson home yes. on uh, YouTube. You should definitely check out. She just posted a new YouTube. And if you like fancy ladies, check her out. Yeah. She just showed her progress on her princess birthday sal piece. So just definitely check out. Or if you're working on one, tag us so that we can see it and share the progress because it's super fun. Yeah. And I still have one birthday princess out. I'm doing Tom Kincaid's um, Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream, which I don't want to talk about right now. Which she will eventually talk about again, but not today. But not today. All right. I have one finish. Yay. This is actually also a birthday self finish, but this is for 
Stitch, uh, Julie and Stitches 16's uh, hashtag CCC with Julie B Day South. It's right here. Whatever it is, it's right here. Um, so uh, her birthday was uh, January 16th, which I remember because it's my half birthday. And um, she loves birds and is a huge bird watcher, birder. A birder? Is that and she likes to, I think it's out. I, th I think so. I like it. Um, as I aged, I took up stitching. I haven't taken up bird watching yet. <laughs> um, maybe, I might. maybe when I, I have some really pretty, uh, like woodsy area behind my house. Yeah. Well, we do red, actually. Red robin, we watch. We get in the hot tub. If we finish on time, which we're not going to today, because this is just fuck a lot. It's also like 70 degrees out. Yeah. Uh, we'll get in her hot tub, and then sometimes cardinals and stuff come around, blue jays and it's stuff. It's really pretty. So this is um, Alforce Embroidery's Winter Birds Ornament Series, which I'll show you a picture of the whole thing here. Um, and this is tit mice. It's called tit mice, even though it's One. a singular tit mouse, <laughs> because each of the ones is plural. That, those Russian English translations on titles is rough sometimes. Um, so this is called Tit Mice. Um, my titles are also crazy, so it's fine. These are just crazy long. They're not crazy obscure. But um, I only had the bird finish last time I showed this because on the on her birthday I finished. I did the whole little tit, tit mouse bird. So this month I added in, and we went to on a day trip to Pahuska. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice on President um, On President's Day, I tried to stitch in the car, and that's when I learned I just don't like it. I did. I was able to stitch when I rode in the front seat, but not the back seat. I only got like 125 stitches in in like four hours of driving. One, because I needed a nap at one point, but like it was just so slow. But whatever. It's finished. I finished it actually this morning, and then my daughter wanted to touch it. And how do you tell a one-year-old? I knew her hands were pretty clean, but I was like, she wanted to feel it. I was like... I have to let her. So she was like, but she didn't have like macaroni on her hands or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm stitching. I stitched this on 14 count, um, hand dyed Ada by which is Garden Crafts in the colorway Grimoire. And like I said, there's eight it, ornaments in the pattern. This was the fourth one I finished. I'm gonna put them away for now because I want to. I have an Al Forest kit for Easter that I'm starting. And I want to start working on um, Southern Seas Beauty, which I started for my son. And also the whip coat, one of the whip coat calls for March is Alianushka's Alphabet, which is an Al Forest rule sampler. So I already have three gigantic. Al Forest pieces I will be focusing on yeah. in March. So I don't have room for another ornament. But these yeah. are so great for, because I'm doing these on Ada and I don't do a lot of Ada projects, that, um, except like my full coverage pieces are in, on Ada, but most of my like non full coverage is on linen so these are really great for what i can't see or like need to take something to mom and dad's and don't want to have to worry about counting over two so i really have enjoyed this series and they live in this Teresa Kogut bag by uh pretty southern on etsy and all of the bag makers that we mentioned are listed in the description. And if they're on Etsy, they're listed under Etsy. And if they're, there's a couple that are only on Instagram and stuff. But, um, so she will join her sisters. Uh, I don't remember the name. I think that's Robin's, uh, Blue Jay and Nuthatch. And I don't know when I'm going to finish these or I mean, Hopefully before Christmas. <laughs> well, if we if we move and get a Christmas tree, then I want to finish them before Christmas. But if we don't get a Christmas tree this year because we're still in our too small apartment, then I don't want to fully finish them. But you could put them somewhere else. Oh, I love decorating for Christmas. We'll I have zero room for things like right now. On the wall? I gave you clothes because I don't have room to hold extra. And clothes. I appreciate that. So it's like I don't want to get them fully I finished. Wanna, I want oh. everything to be flat if if I don't have a place to put it. So, okay. um, and I'm using this. Uh, I think it's about six inch princess hoop on them which is like a great size hoop to do a, like a round ornament oh i know i just got i just got a smaller one because they were out of my size oh yeah and, and i gave you a bunch of i bought a bunch of eight-ish wooden hoops and then decided i hated that they were not hated they're just too flimsy for me like the reason i like the vintage hoops one i do like the nostalgia and the like you know when my mom said that her aunt stitched on something that looks like that like that means something to me but also they're like a little bit heavier they're less heavy than the q-snap they're more romantic than a Q-snap. I use Q-snaps on a lot of projects. But when I want something that feels a little romantic but has a little heft to it, it's like the perfect I'm the thing. opposite. I'm, I it needs to be as light as possible because, 
you were holding it for so long. I am going to eventually get a stand, but I'm not ready to get, I need also like a, well, somewhere to put it. A space, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot. Um, I had a motif memory from the bag. Oh, I also, so I don't have project bags like everybody. Allison has <laughs> project bags that she puts her labor into and so they're technically more valuable than mine. So I stitch on canvas bags. That's everything is. And in, we have a full a extra, and any extras we mentioned we'll also list in the description if you don't want to go to like our YouTube channel, you just want to find the one video. So we have a video on how she does these bags. Yeah. So this was for, um, that I put candy, um, candy in. And I did, since I was just doing the one motif in a motif, I, I just kind of freehanded this on a piece of waste canvas and stitched it up. But I love it. It's so cute. Okay. All right. Now we know this video is going to be long, so we're yeah. going to try not to, and those. I really don't have that many whips. Oh, well, oh I even forgot about the starts. <sighs> Buckle up, guys. I got My starts were also finishing. I got a lot so of I have starts. No starts. Okay. I have four starts. Okay, you know, I figured out in my thing that I have started seven projects this year, mm -hmm. but I have finished six. Ooh, so not a bad score. <laughs> um, okay, so this scores. is for the Fab Four Fan Sal, which I'm, I'm posting with Julie and Stitches 16. And so many people have joined the Sal. Um, just off the top of my head, I know that Jan Holder posted her progress. You've been up with Jan, check out her channel. Um, Megan, the white eyed stitcher started one. So, and she started, I think she started Eleanor Rigby. Uh, did I she? I think. I need to go look at that. Um, but her, she, her floss tube is wonderful. Especially if you like spooky, like if you like a high class spooky stitch, Megan, the white eyed stitcher is like where it's at. Um, and she posts once a month. So go f subscribe to her channel if you're not already, if you want to see it but on her next. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, now I'm blanking on all the people. That's okay. Um, but anyway, I will list in the description. A bunch of people joined. It's been really fun. And then Sarah from Sarah Stitching Spot, Stitchy Spot, is also hosting a Beatles Blackbird Sal. Um, and so, uh, hers is just the Blackbird Beetle designs. Ours is, like, primarily the Blackbird Beetle designs, but any Beetle designs are welcome. I'm using both hashtags. Hers hashtag is here. And I have two projects that I'm doing for this for this sal, but um, this is the one I started. So we started this on February 13th, which it's such it looks like a Valentine's Day stitch, even though they're actually strawberries because yeah. this is Strawberry Fields Forever. Yeah. And how cute it is! It's really cute. It's, so cute. it's a lot smaller than I was envisioning. It's so small. It's what is this? Forty? It's thirty-two. Really? It's, it's thirty-two count. Um, I think that. It's, I think I don't remember if it's vintage porcelain or antique porcelain. It's thirty-two count porcelain. I like said linen. It might have like a modifier on it. Um, like it might be like antique or vintage or whatever. I, uh, but it's like side linen and porcelain. And so like you can buy it anyway because I happened to impulse buy it one day when I saw it for sale. Um, so we kitted this. I kitted this up when we went to the Silver Needle last. On our last floss we showed our visit to the Silver Needle and I kitted it up. I was going to do the DMC and then decided I really wanted to do the house in the variegated. And then I might as well just do all of it. I did convert the two weeks to um, gentle art, so I'll list that in the description if you want to stitch this with the call for, but you don't want to stitch with weeks. I have to, um, the, uh, the employees of the Silver Needle were really kind and helps me find the best matches for the conversion. And I just, I like, I could not put it down. I like finished it. I, so my goal was 800 stitches and I did the 800 stitches and I had to stop because I had other goals and yeah. I like, but I, like, basically, from the time I started until the 800 stitches were done, it was, like, two days that I was not, like, happy about it. Yeah. It's so pretty. And now it'll go to that and um, Yellow Submarine, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, uh, will be my Sunday stitches. Um, for, like, I stitched Blackbird on Sundays. Um, and then it lives in this strawberry bag by Kathy's Posies. Look at the little strawberry. I did not buy it for this for this oh, pattern. Really? I did not buy this bag for this pattern. I bought this because I wanted some summery bags. It's just perfect. And yeah, and it's like, I, yeah. And, and it's perfect. Okay. I have two round robin starts. Um, so this first one is Wildflowers by Ink Circles. And I'm stitching this on 32 count Waterfall by Forbidden Fiber Co. But I got it in like a grab bag of fabrics and I was having a real hard time deciding what I wanted to stitch this on. And I almost stitched it on that porcelain. 
And I pulled out porcelain for this project because I really wanted to use this thread that came with it. Let me get the thread out. Because I had, okay, so I had gotten. That, is that all, how about it? Is that all one color? Uh, yeah. So I had gotten some grab bags of Mo's Sale. She, she, her company called like Mo's Silk, Sale Silk. But she has some cotton that she does too. And I, I had gotten this beautiful, like highly variegated thread called um, Morning Dew. And I got enough of it to do this project. And I was like, ignore this color. This color is for my other round robin. They just live in the same bag. So, and I really wanted to use it for this ink circles pattern. Even though the pattern is actually four different colors, it's not a monochromatic. I really just wanted to use it for this. Yeah. And I pulled that pink porcelain, like the porcelain, because it was kind of pinkish, mm -hmm. for this. And I couldn't place my finger on why it wasn't going to work. But I, like, wasn't committed to, like, finding something else. And then I was like, I have to start this. Because <laughs> I have to get my part done yeah. in April or in March and send it. So I was going through my fabrics. I was putting away all the fabrics that I bought in, like, the last two months. And um, looking for fabrics for this. And I just found this. And I was like... This is the only thing I have in stash that I think will like, like this is perfect, but it's not really, it, my margins are very tight. So I did a center start because I have like the world's tightest margins. It's, it's over half inch. So if I want to do a pillow, it's fine. If I want to frame it, I will have to probably put some fabric on it. I love how you said it. it's over half an inch. Like that's not tiny. <laughs> well, a half an inch seam allowance for like sewing purposes is fine, right? So you have just that you are going to do a pillow. No, no, I'm okay. saying if I want to, that's fine. Oh, okay. but if I decide I really want to frame it, then I will attach, so I will, I will sew fabric, so fabric. to the top okay, of it. Okay, gotcha. Because the sides are fine. Because like, I'm only one stitch away from this edge. So yeah. this side is fine. It's just the top and the bottom. But I like, I had to commit to like, no, actually this is, this is the only combo that will work. So this is the bottom corner and it's going to go around like that? Um, it comes, it kind of comes out as a square. Okay, gotcha. But I, the top, this is the top and the, and the side, or the bottom and the side. Okay. So it will be, you know, the same. Cause I did, like I did a dead center start. Okay. Um, but the sides are obviously, the allowance on the sides are fine. I just like, I wanted, this combo was like speaking to me and this is all I had. So I was like, I'm doing it. Um, and I did about 500 stitches. And I really wanted to keep going. I didn't want to stop, but I was like, I have other things I have to do, so let me put it down for now. Yeah. And it and the start I'm about to show you both live in this Teresa Kogut fabric really ja bag by Jasmine Custom Bags. Can I see that one? Yeah, I just um you have, or at least it was in like my planning video, because I sh I was so, in um, You weren't but did you watch it? No. Yeah, I watched it. Um but uh obviously not that closely. Well, I mean you don't have to like <laughs> But I, I put these projects in here and I've been kind of waiting to start okay. them, but they've been like... That's really cute. Because it's it's small, so even though we've got two projects, they're both monochromatic, so they don't need like big floss packs. And they're sharing one little QSAP, so... Because um, in my head, even though that they're... That would be a really cute purse. Oh yeah, totally. The thing about Jasmine's custom bags, they're a little more expensive, but they're so durable. And also, you wouldn't feel weird if you... For some reason, you quit stitching and you decided you just wanted to use it as a bag bag. Oh, I would totally use like, it as yeah. a bag. All right, so that is uh, my first round robin start, but I, like I said, I had two round robin starts. Um, where did I put it? Oh, I don't know. Where did you put it? <laughs> okay, this is Antique Scissors by Shakespeare's Peddler. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That round robin is with, um, so my Ink Circles round robin is with Maggie from Kitchy Whips, Ali Z from Ali Z is Crafty, and Anna from Anna's Books and Stitches. They all have floss shoes that I'm obsessed with. Like get like happy dance when I see one of them post. And I can't believe I get to like stitch with them. It's so cool. And I can't believe they like talk to me or know who I am or like allow me to like be in their circle. So um allow you to be in their circle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I uh, go if check them out. If anyone kicks you out of a circle, they have to talk to me first. <laughs> that would be scary. I'm scared It'd to be, be scared. there. That'd be scary. Um, all right. So this is my second one. This is with Kat from what are your stitches? Jordan from Jordan at Needle House and um, Eve from Queen Bee Crafts. And we are, this isn't like an ink circles pattern. This is like, here, I'll post the pattern here. And um, I think Eve, but maybe Kat, probably Kat because she has the software. Because um, she's the one that designed candy. Uh, I'm just totally blank. Okay. Uh, split the pattern up into four. And so um, we're, we, so I have, uh, 
I really want to get this done on next Friday because I have other stuff I need to send Kat and I'm sending mine to her. So I want to get it done, but I have other things I have to do between now and the end of February. So March 1st, I want to just finish it because I don't have that much left. Well, that's like less than a week. I have like 400 stitches on it left. Okay. Yeah. And then that way I can get it in the mail to her because I have other, a bunch of other stuff I have to ship her. Okay. And I don't want to ship, I have, you know, going to the post office five sounds. Oh yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> um, this is on 32 count maple sugar by Lakeside Linen. And I have the same issue where this piece really, I think I'm going to have a one inch margin because there's like a border over here. But the, the reason I oriented it this way is the finish on the pattern is like a pillow finish. That's like a vertical pillow. And so I'm like, okay, well I'll give myself the space if that's what I want to do, but probably I'll want to frame it. And if I, and also like if I frame them myself and I lace it myself, then it's not a big deal. It's like, if I take it to a framer, then I need to do more. But, um, I probably will frame it myself because, or frame it because I'm thinking, Whenever I do get a craft room, it would be so cute yeah. on the wall. And my children are just going to destroy pillows. Oh, yeah. And I like, and yeah. then I have to, like, store a pillow. Yeah. I didn't think about that. My dog does destroy everything. If I ever made a Her pillow. dog. Lolly. Sweetest. I love Lolly. Sweetest two-year-old maniac you've ever met. Yeah. Dog, not human. She. She. <laughs> okay, she bit into the wall. Mm. And she bit into their new recliner mm -hmm. yeah you can't have pillows you can't have pillows and right. she's eating christmas pillows too i just don't tell people everything she eats so so, so yeah <laughs> um and the floss for this one is an unnamed most sale cotton tea. for some reason i was like i want to do these round robins with most sale cotton i was like obsessed with the idea so um but i thought it was so pretty and i had two because i needed one where i had two of them because um i'm having everybody stitch mine with my colors but some of the girls are having what it's a different scissors to be in different colors. So also part of why I picked this color is because I wanted to make sure it kind of coordinated well with their colors for their pillows, mm -hmm. but also was something I would want to look at all the time. And it's kind of a, I think it's really purple, but it's like the pinkest, darkest I think purple. It's, it's like a purpley maroon. Yeah. yeah. But it kind of reads pink. I think at times it's kind of a fun. I like it a lot, but I think it'll go well with theirs. And, and it like, looks good on the then also for some reason, these two go together in my head. And I think that actually looks really good together too. Sure. So we'll see. Like, <laughs> are you going to put them together? No, but if I do decide to put it, you know, it's like they're both the round robin pieces. Yeah. So if I decide I wanted them near each other, I could get oh, coordinating yeah. frames. Sure. Um, but yeah, I, so I need to do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, both round robin experiences have been what I thought they would be so far, which is I am way, you have to, they're not difficult. Neither of those patterns are difficult. And if I was stitching them for myself, I it wouldn't think about it twice. But because you're stitching where somebody else needs to count off of it, it has to be like, yeah. you're especially the start has to be perfect. So I have frogged so many more stitches than I would have frogged if oh, I so was stitching it for me. Yeah. yeah, well, it's like you're nervous, but also like there's a lot of times in my own stitching where I make a mistake, but I just, I'm like, okay. You, so you just, you fudge it and count differently, you know. But you're not going to explain, like, I'm not going to send them a card of here's the seven places you need to, like, <laughs> do, be so funny do different it. math. Like, <laughs> so ignore stitch. Yeah. Down four over seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know on the pattern it says that there's three, but there's two here, but really it's a half stitch over here and then yeah. it's one up. Like, you can't do that. And no. especially for the first one. Yeah. If you're the last person stitching and it looks right, you can just kind of let it go. Yeah. And then those ink circle mandalas have, like, are symmetrical. Yeah. So they have, so to, be they have right. to be, yeah. so they're, so I'm like finding my, catching myself doing a lot of, I'm catching myself earlier because I'm way more like on the ball about it, but it does make it, these two patterns that in my head don't look intimidating at all. It makes them a little bit more like you're counting like a mirabilia or something where you're worried about beating yeah. because there is going to be something else. Like the, there are consequences to mistakes <laughs> beyond just does it look good, yeah. you know? Yeah. All right. So. Oh, I have one more start. Oh my gosh. We're over an hour. I know. <laughs> I, I, I know. I said, I said this was going to be long. It's going to be a long. Okay. Um, so one of my 24 new starts in 2024, which is um, run by Pam from, not run by, but started by Pam from Just Keep Stitching. And um, it's using this hashtag. So one of mine was the pink barn. Now... My goal for February was a thousand stitches. That's not oh. gonna happen. Oh. But um, the pink barn is by the RC Housewife. I love it. I thought when I was planning it, I did pick the pink because it was gonna be in February. Um, 
like when I in December when I was like oh figuring out where I was gonna start the different patterns so I started this on Valentine's Day did I get lipstick on the fabric I did doesn't matter because I kitted this up last September yeah feel this fabric is it Wichel? this <gasps> is the call for fabric yeah. you guys know how I feel about Wichel. so this yeah. is 40 count lambs wool by Wichel. I just get rid of it yeah so i started it thinking like oh i can do it it's the called for yeah. i love the artsy housewife why would i not do the call for because it sucks but it's just not <laughs> i know some people like which it's not for me and it's not yeah the 28 count was one thing and no judgment if it is for you mm -hmm. like that's fine it's and just... if it is for you and you want me to send you this piece and you want to frog out these stitches just put it in the comments go. and um if more than what if you want it say um lamb's wool and if you if more than one person does it, I'll do the random comment picker. But it's um, I cut it, so it's not a full. It's 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 not the full like. Well, do you have the other? I do. I'll send you send all. Send all of it. Get rid of all. Um, of it. but yeah, I just don't love it. And so what I was thinking was, the. Oh, I haven't actually showed it yet, so it's still out. Okay, this is extra from a sampler. I'm going to show you guys later. I was thinking it wouldn't like. Anything that looks pretty good on this would look pretty yes, good on this. Yes. This is Maple Sugar by well, Lakeside Linen. I haven't seen the floss, but yes. But like so close. And I could change if there was one or two that was off, I could change it. But they yeah. are very close, and they are both forty count. And they are. This is Maple Sugar by Lakeside Linen, mm -hmm. and it's just feel it. Yeah, it's very soft. Yeah. Yeah, and I this one I'll show you guys in a minute, but I have so I'm gonna have so much left, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I didn't even want you to iron it because I was like, no. And that night, when I realized so I was... it's coming to you on iron. Yeah. When I was realizing I was hating stitching it, I was like, does not. Oh, but I did pick this needle minder because Allison made this needle minder, but it's the pink bar and so it's like a bar now. <laughs> but yeah. So I, these needle minders are so fun. <laughs> and this is one of her... Oh, um, this is the other color I pulled. This is Tropical Stitches that I might have used. But then I realized that one, like, is... is I should use that one because I should save this fat quarter in case there's a project that needs a full fat quarter. Sure. Because that one is like, but those are the I two. I like that color though. But yeah, this is Tropical That's Stitches, it. Eleonora, oh. 40 count. Do they do Ada? They do. And actually, I have the Tropical Stitches Ada. You do? That I bought that's green um, that you can buy for me if you want. I need a This is one of the only, oh no, but uh, look on her on Etsy. I will. Uh, this, so I, it was one of those times where I like, Etsy was having like a $5 off sale or something and I didn't want to buy two fat quarters of linen. Cause this was, so I bought like, like a 18 count Ada or something to like get my total up enough to get the $5 off. So that piece of Ada ended up being like $10. Cause I don't do a lot on Ada, but it's but nice to have it yeah. because there are lots of times when it's the circumstances need it. I feel like having at least one Ada project going is a good idea because there are so many something times yeah. easy that you only have. 10 minutes to stay. Well, and like all of my minutes. like models are Ada, but some of those get into really complicated yeah, places. That's different. Like, so I do like having like a Christmas ornament or a Halloween or something on the go with yeah. an Ada. This is one of the only artsy house size patterns that is charted only in DMC, which is why I also think it's a Witchell. I think it was a more economical kit. I love those colors. And the colors are so pretty. Mm, very pretty. But yeah. Um, and I don't think DMC is any worse than no i love dmc yeah and they just have different uses yeah like i chart in dmc because yeah i think dmc's colors are vibrant and beautiful um and i like using uh like besitch me and mo's which are like not usually the charted for but like you know like but it lives in this carrie's pink sneaker bag that's really cute which you probably you have it's only I've been in the that. the because the pink barn has been living in this bag since i got it okay. re ready to go and then oh but yeah so that was my fourth start so those are my starts Yay. What about your whips, sissy? Okay, my work's in progress. Um, I do not have very many because of the three finishes. Heck yeah. Okay, and they're minimal progress because of the finishes. So this is, oh, sorry, I have the pattern. Garden of Skulls by Prairie Moon. And I love this one. Ugh. I love a monochromatic on Ada. And even though it's black Ada, I still love it. Looks really pretty. It looks amazing on the black. The pink and the black look great. And this is a restart. This is a restart. This is going to be big. Um, it's actually not going to be. It's going to be 
about, that's like the halfway point. Okay. You just cut it extra big because you're like, this isn't happening yes, to me Yes, it is again. not going to do, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice on the same pattern. So, um, I didn't get very far. I think I did a little bit here and a little bit here. Because um, I had Beautiful. other things. Thank you. I really like that pattern. I didn't do any of the back stitch yet. It's, their little um, teeth are missing. <laughs> they little oh, open man. mouth. Um, but that, there's that one. I really can't think of a designer that's more you than Prairie Moon. I, I have two Prairie Moons right now and I want more. The Crypt Club, that's, yeah. I, I think I need more Crypt Club and I think it needs to get stitched soon. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. All right, I did not get very far in this one. This is my ink circles. Oops. Show you a pattern, I think I have it. This is the ink circles I'm doing called Another Year Creeps By. I'm doing one square a month. I started in October. I'm not doing them in order. I'm just picking and choosing which ones I like. So those are my first ones, but this is February. I did the border. That's so pretty, which one are you doing? <laughs> um, I am doing the bats. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I think we talked about that. Yeah. The eyeball. You yeah. called it the eyeball, and I call it the bats. Well, it's an eyeball in the middle of bats, so really it's just up to you what well, you call it. Well, it's bats in the middle of bats, because the corners are four little bats. Bats on bats on bats? It's bats. It's bat crazy. And I love the Oh, bats. show your bag. Do you have it? Uh, no. I didn't get it out. Oh, that's okay. Did I? Don't worry about it. Okay. I didn't get it out. I thought they were, like, right here. No. But it also has... I stitched the bat on it. And this is... Prehistoric by Fox and Rabbit. It's 40 count. So if you've noticed, Allison really prefers it, prefer Ada. It. Um, partially just because that's always what she's done. And this is her 40 count uh, linen stitch. Yeah. And it looks so amazing. I love the tiny, tiny stitches. Um, it's really hard to see. So I can only stitch on this um, on the weekend when I can have daylight. I don't my stitches. And that was January. I don't remember if we saw January finish. We must have. I just don't remember. Don't it's so pretty. Either. Well, that's January, yeah. Okay, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, since February is ending very, very fast, and there's a lot of stitching left to do, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't process. I didn't process that. That's yeah, yeah. There's no more Saturdays left. There's no more she Saturdays. Normally does it's it Saturday today, morning. and you know we're doing this. So, probably not gonna get a February in February finish, but I will finish it and then start. Will on you March. just start? Oh, you won't start March and then come back to it. No, no, I'll finish February and then go on to March. But so that'll just make March extra hard. What are you going to do for March? Them. I have not picked one yet. You want to pick one? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm I'm leaning leaning towards. Oh, you know I like yeah. the skulls. The, the skulls coffins. And the coffins. The little coffins. I'm leaning towards the coffins. I think that would be really fun. Beautiful. All right, and then um, one more that's just a really tiny, tiny star. I didn't even take it out of the. Uh, out of the hoop. So it is um, Satsuma Street, 12 Days of Christmas, and I'm doing um, the first one, the first day of Christmas. And I'm doing them as ornaments, um, not all together, because you can have both. There's a frame. Um, and all I did was the frame and I started the cage. It's teeny tiny. This is 20 count um, ivory, I think. I think it's ivory, Ada just basic. But um, I started this by doing, I've already done one and a half. <laughs> I abandoned the half. Um, but I did it on 14 counts, so they're really big for ornaments. Do you think you're gonna and now they're it? really, yes. yes I'm you can just keep it. that other one in, like do something else with it. Maybe, it's this one, it's super cute, except- It's six. Except I put a six in there, and so- You could take the six out. Know what it, yeah, I guess I could do that. I could take the six out and then it would just be really And just cute. fill it into the eggs. And then it wouldn't even be Christmas really because it says Sesame Street colors. <laughs> it's very bright and gorgeous. Um, it's spring. But this, I think this is a really good ornament size. Yeah, it's really cute. Little teeny tiny flat ornament. We're going to have to learn how to finish ornaments at some point if we're going to stitch this video. Well, Helen D's got a lot of excellent advice on that. So. The ones that um, I'm stitching the, out, the winter birds she stitched, I didn't know she stitched them when I started stitching them, but she finished has it's like a finish in, in a pie tin tutorial mm -hmm. and she used those as one of the examples and I've got to go watch that video mm -hmm. and I think that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> All right. That's your last whip? That, yep. Okay. That's my last whip because I had other, other things. 
All right. What are you working on? Okay, so these are in order by how many stitches I put into them. So this is Coffee and Eggs by the Artsy Housewife. She got 800 stitches. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's on 28 count baked clay by Fox and Rabbit. Baked clay is the call for fabric, but not it's not the call for count. So my lady is big, but I like it because it's a statement piece. It's gonna be my. It's kitchen. gonna be gorgeous. So I'm, I'm cool it already with, looks amazing. I'm cool with how big it is. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is funny because this is the first piece I started on linen. I started this last August or September, probably September because I think I bought it in August. Um, and at first, like I could, I was having all these eye issues. I had to like go to the eye doctor. I had to get new glasses. Like. Um, and then I like, it was my first piece on the linen. So there's so many things in the beginning that really intimidated me that now like don't intim bother me at all. That's nice. And so it's really funny to like, as I see it, I, I'm like, I, you know, like I've, I'm, I've learned so much. Yeah. Um, so since the last time you guys saw it, um, I have added, there were, th these flowers already existed down to here. Everything else I added. So I finished all the flowers and I finished the pot and I started the egg that's down here. There's one more flower in the pattern, the, these pink flowers, but it's up here in the chicken's mouth. So all the flower, everything that's in this plant is done. No, that's not true. I have to add the leaves. So I um, I was just trying to get to my 800 stitch, stitch goal and I was like, I don't want to do a bunch of individual leaves. So I started down here on the pot that was like more block stitching. Yeah. So I have to go back and add the leaves. Nice. I love her. And when we're talking about like, what would you pay for your unicorn? Oh yeah. Uh, this is the pattern where if this was out of print and someone wanted a thousand dollars for it, I'd be like, let me sell my rowing machine. Oh my God. <laughs> this would be my unicorn pattern if it was out of print. Wow. This oh is my like God. The nobody, one... nobody sell her anything for a thousand dollars, please. <laughs> this would be like, this would be the one. And it's just funny. It's like whatever people see is so different. And I know a lot of people really love, but her, nothing. You should but that, that is the one where I'm like, you know, okay. And she lives in this uh, paper rifle company fabric uh, box uh, bag by Carrie Sews for You. And Carrie Sews for You commented that someone bought one of her bags because they saw her bags on our channel. And I love that because Carrie has amazing This is one bags. of my favorites that you have. It's super cute. I love Carrie's bags. I love the bright, bright foxes. All right. My next one is Yellow Submarine. So Yellow Submarine is my other Fab Four fan style piece. It was already a whip. It wasn't a new start, but I am continuing to work on it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so good. It got the submarine got its little emblem and it got its antenna things and then more filling down here. I don't think last time I'd done the whole flag. I think I'd only done maybe I done the whole flag. I don't remember. I did a lot. I did since you guys saw last I've done 650 stitches and I finished its goal for February. And made up the missing stitches from its January goal. So I'm caught up to date for the year on where I wanted to be on this piece. This mm -hmm. makes me want to stitch um, the cartoon version. It, this is uh, pretty close to the cartoon version. It's close, version. but it's, it's like too real. I want a giant bubbly cartoony. I mean, you could chart it. You probably wouldn't want to show it on the channel because you wouldn't want to like. Oh, no. But no. like if it was copywriting. If it was just <laughs> personal use and you charted it at yeah. home, it'd be like making the cake for it as long as you didn't like. Yeah. But um, if you just wanted personal use on your wall. Oh, I also did some of these little, wherever I had extra red, I just cut like, but yeah, I love, I love it. It's so, That's it's so, so fun. I'm glad I'm not doing the yellow all at once, but going back and forth, it's like, go do a motif, come home to the yellow. Yeah. But it, um, it's so fun. It's like, I have not been like a huge, like blackbird person in terms of like, um, like uh, like Tara Sullivan just showed did a blackbird design deep dive and showed all and she stitched America that the one piece from the most expensive patterns video, okay. um the one that you were like oh I wish I was totally stitched that like the flag one which um, the American which, flag no, which channel oh Tara Sullivan Tara Sullivan Sully stitches she just okay. started but okay. um she did a big deep dive into blackbird and it's funny it's like I. The style isn't the natural style that I gravitate to in cross stitch, but after doing these two and not wanting to put them down, I'm like, are all the blackbirds that fun to stitch? And if they're as fun to stitch as this is, even though they look a little bit different, I could see myself getting. So it's like, I'm gonna do the six that I have because I have the whole 
Magical Mystery Tour series. I'm gonna do these six, yeah. and then in a year or two when I'm ready for more, or a year or two, in 10 <laughs> years when I'm done with it, then I'm ready for more Blackboard. Maybe I'll sure. buy like more. more. Because I'm like, it's so much fun to actually do the stitches in yeah. it. I can't, it's like, it I look forward well. to it. So, <laughs> like, it's like, one of my favorite parts of the week is when I get to pull out my Blackbirds. But I don't know if it's, I thought, you know, at first I was like, well, it's the content. And these designs are like more poppy and more, but like, maybe it's just that these designers are geniuses and I need to get. <laughs> and if you haven't checked out Tara Sullivan's channel, um, she's new and everyone's talking about her channel, so it's probably not like a secret channel. But um, she, I guess she did philosophy before and like came back to do it by herself. But um, her designer deep dives have been really fun. She did Brenda Gervais and then she did this one. Okay. I'll have to watch um, the black one. This pattern I use is like one of my favorite hoops. This princess hoop, it's like a seven or eight inch. I don't really know. And then it lives in this yellow submarine cat bag from See, my that, cat. Those from are the submarines stitches. I want. <laughs> you just want to stitch this. I want, I want big bubbly cartoony i mean i've looked at the cartoon because i've watched it with my son recently and it's um pretty close yeah. it's like definitely like inspired by for sure cool okay the next whip i have is song of the people i put in 430 stitches to get this to its uh february goal this is by told in a garden oh. i'm stitching it on 14 count summer sage khaki sage ada uh, which is the call for. The call for is like, says like khaki or sage, and this is like khaki sage. So it's, but it is basically the call for. Um, I did this quilt. So last time this quilt had been outlined in black and had six black stitches, eight black stitches in it. <laughs> so I basically just finished this quilt. They did the whole thing. I love this pattern. And... But tell them, because you were mentioning how hard it oh, is. Oh, it's kind of annoying to stitch the quilts because it's um, hand it's hand charted and some of the letters are like L's and T's in your brain. It's like, even though it's a lowercase L and an uppercase T, your brain is still like... It. But once you figure out what the pattern of the... And it's hard for you to figure out what the pattern of the quilt is by looking at the letters or the symbols because they don't like stand out. And then the cover picture is this big. Yeah. So you can't like even tell what it is. Yeah. But once you do a little bit of it and you figure it out, then it becomes easy. Good. And the last couple colors are really easy. It's really this first. I've heard a couple people mention that they were doing Told in the Garden, which so I, guess, I hadn't heard. Guess what? I don't hear that often. So Vonna Pfeiffer just put out another um, uh, floss tube. And her, and so on her floss tube and on Instagram, she was showing this picture, some pictures of her living room. And then on her Instagram, she just hung up her big frame Santa that she just did and rearranged some of her stitches. And this finished stitch is one of the like framed pieces in that oh. gallery. Oh. And so it, I haven't ever seen this stitch and the model picture of it is this big. So it was one of the first time, I mean, it's not like an up close picture of it, yeah. but I still was like, it's huge and it's really, really pretty. I'm really like, I, this is very fun. And nice. this is, this is like a nice, when I was sick and I couldn't really see and I was tired having this Ada project around to like, where there's lots of block stitching and stuff was like so good. good. And I have a bunch of Told in the Garden patterns and I think I'll keep going on the Ada even though it's on my like, even though mostly now I'm gravitating towards not because yeah. they're charted for Ada and it is nice to have something big and complicated on Ada uh, where you can actually see it. And it lives in this Carrie Sews for You bar so quilt perfect. bag. It's such a perfect did I buy bag. this bag for this pattern? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did not buy strawberry, that strawberry bag for strawberry. But the point strawberry. is to buy them so that they match your stuff, yeah. right? And I'm using uh, this, uh, I think this is oh, an 8 inch. Big. Yeah. Um, I tried switching this to a uh, Q-snap because my brain likes to see full coverage of Q-snaps. But my brain also likes antique old things to feel antique and old. And this is an 80s pa pattern of Amish life. So my brain was like, nope, you can't have a Q-snap, Stephanie. You have to have it. So I got the biggest one that I had out. All right, uh, my next one. I showed candy earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, my next one is my Prairie Schooler band sampler stockings that I'm doing for my children. So if you're new, I'm making these patterns up as I go. I have a collection oh, of... So the inspiration is off of the stockings and more pattern booklet, but I'm not doing any of these exactly. 
So I'm taking, uh, I'm doing the main Santa image based on, so I'm, my daughter's, the one I'm doing now is the 2022 Santa and that is my daughter's birth year. So this is what's gonna be that. Did they have the penguin last time? Yeah. Okay, so then I just added the other arm and yeah. started down in his coat while we were finishing watching the bear because my husband and I, for some reason, never finished the bear. We had like two episodes left. It's the bear. On Hulu? I don't know what the bear is. Well, it's amazing. It's um, Jeremy Allen White and he's a chef. Oh, okay, well, we have a lot of talk. We'll talk about this later. Okay. Anyway, so um, yeah, so I just got to finish the Santa and then I got to do my son's Santa, which is going to be this one. And then I'm going to start just pulling motifs and creating bands of motifs. And I, I bought, um, I just have like a collection of Christmassy prairie schoolers and I have a few more at home and then I have one more on the way because I, I bought a pattern and so I couldn't sh ship alone. And whenever I have, whenever I buy something and I need to add one more thing to the cart, I always just go in and pull a prairie schooler because I know eventually <laughs> I want all of them. So why not just pick one? Maybe. Um, so yeah, so that's lives in my Teresa Kogut. This is my prairie schooler Santa's workshop that Kat from One of Your Stitches made for me. And it's like so great. And um, I'm using my, another Gibbs Co. spring hoop. And I just have like my prairie schooler colors. So when I get to the point where I'm doing bands, I'll just pick colors from here that go with it. And I love it. And um, these have a deadline because I want, do you want to use these for Christmas? So um, I'm a little behind. I have a lot left to do. So I, at some point I'm probably gonna have to like stop a lot of other stuff and focus on these to get mm -hmm. them done, but we haven't hit that yet. So they're also very easy. It's like prairie schoolers. So she's just so comforting and warm I have a prairie school and that easy. I do. And yeah, I do once a month. Blocky and simple color changes. I realize that I am saying the name of this pattern weird because I've been saying it French, but it's by the Spanish stitcher. So it's probably a, a Spanish, Spain Spanish pronunciation of La Maison, but I don't know. La Maison? I don't know how it is in Spanish. Oh. So if you know how to pronounce the name of this pattern, which I'll show here, it's La Maison in English, La Maison in French. And I don't know how to do it in Spanish because I only studied Spanish for eight years and only have spent <laughs> like Same. six okay. weeks of my life in Spain and only spent much more time than that in Mexico. But um, don't really speak Spanish. Any We're language. not a family that understands languages. I've studied four years, eight years of Spanish, four years of German. I did two years of German. Four hardcore semesters of Russian, lived in Bulgaria, and from all of those experiences, lived it. No, I didn't live in Germany, but I spent a very long time in Germany. All those experiences, all I got is I can read the Cyrillic alphabet. I don't have any, like, like my head. And my husband can speak, like, seven languages, and he thinks I'm an idiot when it comes to languages. Because <laughs> we lived in a foreign country together. And well, he's, he's from Africa. I know lots of things that but he's from, him up. he's from Africa, and, like, we would go places, and they would start speaking to me, thinking, like, oh, she's Bulgarian. They would speak to me in Bulgarian, and he would answer. And I would just be like... <laughs> Probably, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm American. See my jean jacket. I'm American. I don't know. Um, all right. So this is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's La Maison in English. Please, somebody tell me. Rescue me. Um, this is a stitch along, start along, started by, hosted by, I cannot talk anymore. Uh, Katie from So Tattered. We talk a lot, so it makes sense. We do. Um, and uh, this border is very simple, but it keeps tripping me up in a way where I'm very afraid to move on to any of the motifs until I have it all matched up and done. What's tripping you? Um, it's such simple counting that I'm getting cocky and then I get tripped. So the, is it this, okay, so this is six, not five. This is, all of these are five stitches across and this one's six. So that tripped me up. But then see how the colors crisscross? Mm -hmm. I was, I kept going with the color that doesn't have the middle one, the one that needs the gap, and I counted the gap wrong. Like, I I needed to move my next stitch one stitch over, but you can't fudge this border in the, you could fudge the border in the, like, the little decals, but you cannot fudge it in the, because it's so simple. Oh, that's annoying. Right? So, I, um, I did 400 stitches 
but I probably really did 500 stitches between like what got frogged and stuff. Um, I'm doing it on 32 count maple sugar. No, this is 40 count maple sugar linen from Lakeside Linens. Know, the pick, the light. With the call for DMC. And I just think this is such a pretty pattern and I'm not doing a lot of like, obviously you guys can see, I don't stitch a ton of like traditional alphabet style samplers. So when Katie said she wanted to do this as a stitch along, I was like, yeah, that sounds really fun. The colors are so pretty, but it's also charted in DMC, so it's easy to like get up. And then I'm using this oval nine and nine inch oval hoop, and it lives in this eight oh five stitcher bag. And I love it. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this and candy are both things where it's like I made my goal for February four hundred stitches because I they were not part of my original plan, so I don't have a ton of extra time to devote to them. But they're like such dessert. Like, it's like cheating on your diet type stitching because it's so fun. It's so pretty. And if you didn't see Katie's last floss tube, she showed her progress on this. And she also had her mom on. And it was so cute. Her mom's so cute. So, go to, I mean, you guys probably watch Katie from So Tattered. But if for some reason you don't, go check her out. It was really good. All right. I have two whips left. This is Allison's... One of my birthday starts for Allison. I the other one I already hit its February goal, but this was actually my whip go call for the month. That's so a lot. I need another thousand stitches. How much of the border is left? Oh, that way? Mm -hmm. About this one. Oh wow. But I already had all of it done. I only did down here. So Why what did you just finish the border? Because I, it's not this, it's this design. Oh, it's that over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. And what I found out over here is I I the reason I've been putting off starting work on this for the month is that my border was one too long. And so I didn't count it in my stitches last time, but I knew the first hour of working was going to be like frogging and redoing. And so that just made me like not want to start mm -hmm. it. So when I finally did, I was like, oh yeah, I love stitching this piece. Like I shouldn't have stopped, but like now I'm back on a roll. So I fixed this corner and then came down and started the ribbon down here and started the board over here. All the gaps in here are actually crinic. Cause I have, so none of those will get done until the end. Cause I'm going to do all the DMC. I don't remember if it has any fancy floss. I'm going to do all, all the basically regular floss Then I'll do metallics and then I'll do beads. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see somebody who's flying and doing an amazing color conversion. I love the colors. Catherine from Needleberry Stitcher is doing the most beautiful conversion on this. I really like the original colors. It's something that drew me to it, that it felt very like antique French. That's what I was going to say. Very French. But very her old. color scheme is very different yeah. and it's so pretty. So if you want to, so definitely go check out her last video and also follow her on Instagram because she sh she's like almost done with the castle. I'm like... I actually think I am going to start on the castle and not do the whole border because unlike that sampler, if I'm off by a couple stitches on the border, the way that the stuff is framed, it'll be fine. Like, um, there's like enough space around Cinderella and the border that if you're like, I wasn't trying off, to border shame you. I was just confused. <laughs> I was like, you got so close. No, 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 no. Why did you stop? Um, because each of the borders has these like fancy medallions and ribbons that mean you need to all of a sudden stop and like okay. start. I gotcha. Counting. And it's very important that the colors and that go here because of the shading has to look right. Like, I think it looks great. It does. Um, but if yeah. your blues or your whites were in the wrong spot, it wouldn't, the shading wouldn't the look right. Yeah, shadows. So, so I, I have to do a thousand stitches in the next four days, which should be pretty easy because I have a lot more. So I'm going to keep coming down. With, I'm going to finish this ribbon um, and border where they meet up. Then I'm going to keep doing the border and go into the castle. So if I have time, I'll go as much into the castle as I can. If I like panic and need to just like finish this stitches to get my whip go call done then I'll do border because that's really simple how strict are you with this whip go thing I just want like for me if I don't get them done in the month but I get them done in the year that's fine that's what but I'm still behind on one from January so I don't want to leave February behind two whip go goals I want to leave February behind one whip go goal mm -hmm. and one of the whip go goals so my whip go call for March one of them is Alunishka's alphabet which is on a 40 count but it's no, it's not a 36 count, but it's Al Forest and I love it. And I don't think I'll have any problems spending the time on that. Mm -hmm. And that will actually give me several, I'll, I'll finish the block I'm on and maybe finish one more. And that'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and then my Turkish shop, which you guys haven't seen in a while, is was a call for February and March. So if I'll get as much of that done as possible, but if a little bit of that rolls into March, it's like 
not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But I'm behind on Fairy 4 on my Mirabilia. Mm -hmm. And so the next four days, plan stick peek is a lot of these two. And a lot of Cinderella. How many stitches do you have to do in four days? Um, a thousand plus. I have to do like 3,000 stitches in four days. <laughs> But it's all mirabilia I, block stitching. Let's do 24 hours of cross stitch and just let's get do it. it done. I, let's do it. My children don't even allow me to do 30 minutes of cross stitch okay. in a row. And it lives in this Jasmine custom bag. Bag that Jen kindly did custom for our birthday stitch alarm. I know. I, I have the exact same bag. It's so cute. Oh my God. Little Cinderella's. <laughs> I have one whip left, guys. You're going to laugh at me. Flowers and friends. Hello for Liz Matthews. I'm in the part where it's real fiddly. And I did two strands, and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I, two strands a day? I know. Um, or once if a I do two strands, <laughs> only on Mondays. When will I get done? Because we stitched Liz Matthews Mondays. Um, and actually, Allison's Liz Matthews finish is a Liz Matthews Mondays finish. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just adding in the extra green to the leaves. And I need to, like, do more. But, like, I was kind of hoping that the thing that she came out with this month would be something I'd want to stitch for Liz Matthews Mondays. And then I would do something different with this, but they weren't something I was like immediately wanted to start, even though they're pretty. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to try to at least put it, I, my goal, original goal is to do 200 stitches every Monday, but 60 stitches is taking that amount of time. So mm -hmm. it might be, maybe I need to switch it to like, I'm going to stitch on this for two hours and wherever I get is good enough. Mm -hmm. So don't feel guilty that I'm like rolling over You should stitches. never feel guilty about your costume. But also like, I want it to be done because I want to frame it. It's going to be so pretty. It's already so pretty. So that is um, Flowers and Friends by Hello from Liz Matthews. I'm using like a more jewel tone color conversion that I just pulled from Stash. I'm almost out of the blue. That's the other issue is that I'm almost out of one of these colors. Um, I need to see how far I can get on this one. It's like, because if I can get almost to the end, then I could just swap out. Can you get more? Yeah. Okay. I'm using this uh, princess hoop. And it lives in this uh, beautiful blue porcelain teacup thread lady 99 bag. I want to do a porcelain yeah. blue. Uh, 58 stitch. stitches, guys. Good job. And that's my whips. Yay. Ooh, I have a lot of porcelain tile, blue tile walls from Portugal. Pictures of them. I could probably try you something. You should try one. All right. Those are my whips. We're done with whips. Okay. Plans. What are your plans? Plans. Okay. I plan stitch because I have no other does it, actually if she makes plans she just doesn't no what is all that floss for oh wait you're gonna show it later <laughs> no, I'll show it right now if you want yeah is are you gonna work on this uh yes I will be working okay. on this okay guys ready for a lot of DMC <laughs> okay so I ran out of the color I was using for the Liz Matthews uh, monochromatic stitch I just did so I had to go um get one one thing of floss and so I went to the store they're everywhere. I went to the store and ended up with 90. 90 I bought 90 at one time, but for like four yes. projects. Okay. It's one project. No, it's, well, it's two projects because I got the one I needed for, <laughs> for the Liz Matthews stitch. I got the one. And then the 89 I needed for, um, I'm restarting my Thomas Kincaid uh, Cinderella, which is upon a dream. It, the, the floss it comes with is I don't know if it's old. I don't know if it's just not a, as good a quality as DMC. It's Kenmar is what we found out. I, we called. found out, yeah, what it is, but it's just, it frays. It frays really bad. And I thought it was because it was on 18 count. Um, the, call, it was, the kit fabric was 18 count. And I thought that was the problem. So I switched to 16 count, but it frays on the 16 count too. And I just, I'm not going to 14 count on this giant. Full coverage stitch. You'd run out of floss of them. Like. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work. Um. So I am converting to DMC. So that's why I had to Which, go out and buy ninety skeins. So of in our video about the Thomas Kincaid kit, yeah. we talked about the group on Facebook. So, um, and we also got if you're starting one of those kits or you're interested in them, go check out that video. But then also read the comments because people who like know a lot about it like left comments. Yeah. And a lot of people in the group say they they always convert. To, some people say they never convert to DMC because they want the real. That was just it. I wanted the experience. authentic. I had switched out the fabric already, but I was like, but it'll look like it's supposed to look if we have the right but, gloss. But some people are like, I it's always, like they open their kit and they immediately switch 
to yeah. DMC. And there's a, in the video, there's a link to the website where you can convert Candomar to DMC easily. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to restart that for the second time. Um, but I think, and the, because it's going to take so long to stitch, I'm going to be happier in the long run, actually physically doing it. Yeah. Um, and it's so sad because I spent like hours working on I it bet this you week. can <laughs> sell those floss in that group to somebody who's just like looking for like. Oh, like extra? Yeah. Like if you, if you ran out of Or time. if you finish the piece, you could probably be like, what's left in this kit is the pattern, some of the floss, yeah. like all but like two of the colors of the floss and the original fabric, but you have to frog out. <laughs> I think I would frog it. Because those kits are expensive. Somebody will buy it. Somebody will be expensive. happy to get it for half the price of like the other ones. So, I think so. but anyway, so that was that was my haul. I got I got DMC. So it's very was, exciting. It was very exciting. I went I went to the store for fifty cents worth of material. Oh, that's something we wanted and I to came say. Out with forty dollars and fifty cents. I think it was our eBay materials. video. One video we were talking about how like we know we t we know DMC is very cheap here. We know DMC oh, yeah. is not super cheap everywhere. Yeah, and it, it is fifty four cents here. And somebody commented that it is like a dollar eighty equivalent in the UK. We would love to know, like, how much are you, how much is your like wherever you go to to normally buy DMC? How much is it? Because we're just it's just very interesting to us, like how the the art form has to adapt to the places people live. Mm -hmm. And like I know, and like people use CXC in um a lot of places because cxc is a little bit less expensive but i think cxc just got bought or whatever and some people use anchor like but you know so we would love to know how much is like a basic skein of like 310 yeah. where you are because like it went from being however much you paid and you told me it was an astronomical amount of money for the kit to then i bought the floss on top of that and it still wasn't that expensive because dmc is so cheap but had I had to spend a dollar eighty per skein to buy ninety skeins, this would be the most expensive pattern in the world. <laughs> Exaggeration. Well, ex but <laughs> except for so all the for ones me, we know, it would have been it's so expensive. Yeah, like personally. But also, like we know we're no, we know we are not as like I am like way more conscious about using fancy floss than I am about DMC. Like I have a little. If like six strands of DMC get like, if my child touches it, I'll just be like, throw it away. <laughs> oh yeah. And I, I am a floss waster. If, if something is tangled and I don't want to deal with it, I will throw it out. So we would love to know, um, about I'm a floss waster. And also like if you use CXC because DMC is like more or whatever, and you, there's a cheaper alternative that you like to just tell us we're not cause we're going to necessarily change like what we're doing, but we're just very curious about like what the world of cross stitch looks like. Yeah. Um, all right. So my plans are to restart for the second time. My Disney stitch, my Kincaid stitch. That's, that'll be fun. It's fine. <laughs> I'm still a little angry, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. What are your plans? Um, so I'm starting a couple cells. Shocked. No, I'm not. So Nancy, the disorderly no, sister, announced that she's doing a Shores of Hawkburn Hollow sal. No. Oh, you are doing. That? Yeah, and I, I already. I, I okay. So she debated on it because she's doing some other cells. Yeah. So, she's so like, him, ha, did him, I start? Uh, Hawkrun Hollow, uh, Village of Hawkrun Hollow on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. No, New Year's Eve. Whatever. I did start it. Yes, I did. Did I stitch on it more than that one day? Time. No, I didn't. It's on my whip go list. I expect that it'll get called three times. Yeah. So my goal for the year is to get one block done on that. Nice. But the cool thing about this stitch along, it starts March 1st, but I'm going to start mine on February 29th so that it's a leap year, is that it's broken up into getting it done in... For in four years, so you do a fourth of a block each month. There's going to be Zooms, so a little oh, community fine. to like help you. And also, Marissa from MKS Creations is already stitching chores. And I just mentioned her, like, because I knew she wanted to get more progress on it. And I was like, hey, Nancy, this orderly stitcher is hosting the sal, and I'm thinking about joining, like, maybe. You, and so she's joining it too, even though she already is stitching it. So it's kind of like a community push to like. Do, do it. it. Plus, like, I love all the Hawkrun Hollows, and I... Oh, I do. They're really cool. So, I'll continue to put Village of Hawkrun Hollow on my whip go and keep working on it that way, Someone and then... just had a big finish on one of those. Oh. I saw it And then Instagram. I will, um, do the Sal one-fourth, and maybe I'll be like, okay, well, if I do one-fourth on each of them, I can, you know, like, get it done, like, but it'll be fun. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's one plan. Um, my second plan is that of my 24 starts in 2024... 
My Easter kit, for, it's called Easter by Al Force Embroidery. It's like a pretty small, beautiful pattern, but it's the one I bought the kit for. I'm gonna start that so that I can be working on it in March. I don't know. I probably won't work at it past March because um, Easter's early really this year. Really early, yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure Orthodox. I'll probably right. just, well, and. We have Orthodox in here. We know this. Yeah, we well, and, and also I'm thinking like, well, Al Forest embroidery is oh, Russian, right, right? And I'm doing it because I I saw like I lived around painted eggs, and I saw painted eggs oh, in yeah. Ukraine, and I was gifted a painted egg. Imagine and you should chart a painted egg. That would be so beautiful. I have a lot of pictures of up close painted eggs I could chart. Um, I was also I was given a painted egg, but I was on like a two week press trip, and it's like so they gave all of the people on the press trip a painted egg, which is really sweet. And then you have to protect a painted egg while you're essentially living on a bus going from hotel to hotel mm. and no nobody's egg baited. Oh no. <laughs> um so I once owned a painted egg. I, oh. I do not own it anymore. But I have tons of pictures. Anyway, so 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 maybe I, I'll do it through Orthodox Easter as yes, like a, that's a great idea. It's like a ode to Bulgaria yeah. and uh, all the other places, Ukraine and all the places I have appreciated painted eggs. Yeah. Um so I'm gonna start that kit. And then I also am gonna start one of my other plan starts for the year is Una Owl by the, by the Artsy Housewife. And Elizabeth from Savory Sewing is starting it on her birthday, which is March 9th. So oh. I was like, so that's the day before we film next. So I was like, well, I'll just do, I'll just start mine on your birthday. Yeah. Like, because I'm already, I already have, I've had it kitted up for seven months. I'll just start it on your birthday. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm excited about all of those starts. Nice. Those are my plans. All right. Hall. Well, you showed that. Do you have any that other hall? That was my hall. Um, you've already seen all of my halls. You've seen my DNC. You saw the the fabric from the uh, candy and the fabric from Liz Matthews. My Liz Matthews piece. We're all that. Uh, that was all my hall. So I don't have any. Okay. Well, I don't have much hall either. It all fits in here. So um, I got if you okay. The Oak Crown Fabric of the Month came a little bit later for me than it normally does. So if for some reason yours also hasn't, if yours hasn't gone, but I've had it for a little while, but it was still later than it had the other months. So if you are waiting for your Oak Crown Studios Fabric of the Month, um, I'm about to show mine. So turn away and close your ears. Come back in two, come back in two minutes. Um, this is Crystal Ball. I get mine on 28 count because a lot of her stuff is like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my husband. He can cut all this out. Is he okay? I don't know. I got to check though. Fishing. Oh, well, we're not cutting out because her husband just caught a fish. He caught a fish. First, he's, first fish. He's out fishing <laughs> while we're recording, which is very sweet. He went sweet. fishing. So. Um, so this is Crystal Ball. So Oak Cross Studios is owned by Amy of Fiber Arts Amy on YouTube, Flotsu. Um, and she... I get 28 count from her because it's like a lot of it is like good fancy lady inspiration. So I want to be able to stitch yeah. a fancy lady. But um, I think I'm going to do the Fabulous Houses greenhouse on here. I think that will look so good because yeah. they're all charted on a gray. Yeah. Silver. Um, I like that gray a lot. So the description for this one, because Amy writes up really like thoughtful descriptions about the inspiration. She has a new foster bed. I know. I haven't watched it yet. I, I watched it this morning. It was good. This month's fabric is what I would consider a neutral. It works great for samplers and crotches designs of a similar type, including designs from carriage house samplings, little house needleworks, and hands across the sea samplers. If you're looking for something other than omnipresent beige, this too is also fantastic for mirabilia and similar designs if you want the fabric to fall to the background and really let your stitching shine. The purple in the fabric will really make yellow stand out. I think it would be particularly stunning with fairy idol and woodland fairy. I love the thought she puts in. I was going to say, that's incredibly thoughtful. So, um... Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do, I, I the patterns, somebody is gifting me the pattern because they bought two. And when it gets there, I'll thank them, but I don't wanna like blow them up in case for some reason something happened and they needed to keep the second copy, which would totally be fine. But if they do send it, I'm gonna think I'm gonna start that on here. Cause I, that's the one of the Fabulous Houses that I really actually wanted to stitch. And so it was so funny when someone was like, do you want my accidental second copy? I was like, I do. Absolutely. But if they had had like a castle or something, I'd be like, pass it to somebody else because I'm not going to stitch it. Yeah. Because I'm doing this giant Cinderella castle, you know, or like whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then, um, my Christmas bell sampler, I had ordered all of the Gloriana for it in November and one of them was back ordered mm. and it finally came in. Oh, good. So sassy green. So this is the color that I was missing from that sampler came in finally. And now I'm questioning, do I actually need two skeins of both of the, of all of the greens? Because Laura from Wallady Stitches is like running out of one of hers. Oh no. 
and dye a lot of issues being what they are. So like I might go ahead and order yeah. um, backups of all the colors just because I'm doing it on 20 account and that's a lot bigger than the call for. Yeah. But they don't really talk about it. And then if I end up with extra, great. You know, like I'll use it for someone else. Sure. Because they're Christmas colors, you're gonna find something. Yeah. Um, and then especially if you want all your Christmas stuff to coordinate. Yeah, yeah. You should use them all. I use my own eBay skills. I got this for twenty five plus tax and shipping, which is so much less than other people are selling theirs for. Your eBay. I said your thing. You talked at me, and it was yeah. very informative. I, I talked really, to you for 50 minutes. I know, and it worked because I went and I bought stuff, and it was great. Well, I've been um, using my powers to not buy things, which is not as fun. But I did go <laughs> ahead and get this because the, I love the ovals, and the real oval size I like is the bigger oval than this, but I do like these too, and I use them. And they're the prices on these vintage hoops are going up, and I'm just like, let me get a few more now. Doesn't it? Is it antique? That's. Mm -hmm. A good a video. Really good video. And I was trying to find it, but it's not labeled that because it's just in like a flop, regular floss tube episode, so I couldn't find it. Yeah. The other thing I got is when we went up to Pahaska a lot on President's Day, like we went up with our mom and our other sister, um, and we visited like the Pioneer Woman Mercantile and stuff up there. That's where they shot the movie Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, that's where like, if you know, if you watch the movie or read the book, like a lot of the history of is all in Osage County and Pasca is in Osage County. But we've been up there a bunch, so we didn't do any of that real tourism. We but mostly just... I learned Valerie pointed out the courthouse, which yeah. is kind of hidden with your... It's home. not a hill. It's way yeah. up. You have to, like, look way up there. So Val, our other sister has watched and read that a lot more than I have, which yeah. is crazy as someone who writes about Oklahoma travel. But um, we went up there and we just, like, did lunch and shopped as, like, a girl's day. It was really fun. But I got fun. these two um, magnets... Them to turn into needle minders because I thought that would be fun. Yeah. At least this one. That one. This one is going to be a big needle miner, yeah, but I think it. it'll be fine for like a oh, bigger, that's fine. like a bigger because they're wood. Yeah. Um, there were smaller magnets that I would have liked better that were in so expensive. They were very expensive. And these were six dollars, and I was like, well, I would pay if these were already a needle miner. I would pay six dollars, and putting the needle miner back on them when we have them is yeah, easy. That's so fair. that's my haul. Yay! All right, so. Floss Tube University. So, welcome to Floss Tube University. Our <laughs> lesson is coming out on Thursday, but yeah. these are some lessons we learned from our colleagues. Although, we've already um, talked so long. So, the Hathaway Sisters. Oh, did you that's, have anyone? That's the only one I was going to mention. Yeah, okay. So, so. Hathaway Sisters, um, which we already mentioned, is like, uh, mentioned us, and uh, thank you for mentioning us. Um, their Floss Tube was really, really good. So, they it's put so out a good. whip rate, and then their second one was like a normal yeah. Floss Tube, I think. Um, Boston format, but, um, they are doing something that I never heard of before, which is they're doing a secret stitch along. And I don't know if they invented it or if they got it from someone, because I've been watching floss tube every day for like four hours a day for like eight <laughs> months. And I never heard of this concept, but it doesn't yeah. mean that it, that I, it's not out there. Um, but what they're doing is they pick the same pattern and then you pick your own fabric and flosses and they don't show each other as they're going. But then when they're done, they just reveal it to each other. Like, what does yours look like? And that is so cool it and fun. Really cool. And yeah. I never heard of that before. I so if you want to do a stitch along, but you don't want to be like constantly updating Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram or tagging or checking, whatever. You want to just be like, here it is. Show me when you're done. <laughs> That's really cool. And I mean, and it's like so creative and it interesting. It's so creative. <laughs> so, um, also they're really, they seem like really nice. That was, so they're, nice, and so. they're Alaness's is keepsakes. Yeah. Which. Our LNS is a silver needle. I just wish it was not 90 minutes away. It's pretty far. But, um, because we're in Oklahoma City and it's in Tulsa. But you used to live in Tulsa. It's not like it's very far from here. And it's a fun trip. Because there's yeah. a lot to do in Tulsa. And it's nice to be like, okay, well, we're going up for the day. Yeah. Okay. Also, all my in-laws live in Tulsa, so. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a hard drive. I do it. You do it enough. I do it. <laughs> um, all right. Last thing, giveaways. Okay. So, we're going to announce the winner of our... Etsy gift card giveaway for celebrating 1,000 subscribers. We're also going to announce the winner of the two patterns from uh, Floss Tube episode 11 because I wasn't prepared last time to announce them. Um, and then we also have a few people that have not claimed their giveaways from the ones before. And we figured if people entered the... This might be the one that where people would actually check because they knew we were giving away a gift card last time. So they might check if they won the gift card. Mm -hmm. So, but... All that stuff's on my laptop and I forgot to send it to my <laughs> iPad. So what we're gonna do is right now. I mean that's not funny. Here's the winner. <laughs> here's the winner of um 
the Etsy gift card. Congratulations! Oh my god, that's so great. What you need to do is DM Thank you for commenting. And I know you're on Instagram because I recognize your name. So DM me on Instagram and give me your email address and I will email it to you. You don't need um, to give me your physical address because it's just an Etsy gift card. So congratulations! And I am at Crossstitch to Lobe on Instagram. Allison is Allison at the moment on Instagram because I had already set up mine before she we decided to do the channel together. And mine has been up for for a long time. Forever. So if you want to DM her, you can also DM her. But DM me because I'm the one that will be going in and like filling it out. She does all the techie stuff. The winners from the two patterns on from Blossom Eleven. Uh, here's winner number one. Congratulations! And DM me your address on Instagram at Cross the Globe on Instagram. DM me your address. And um, I will get it in the mail. And here's the second pattern winner. Congratulations! Congratulations! I knew it'd be you. <laughs> and then now, um, I'm gonna insert, and I think there's two, there may be three. I'm gonna insert any outstanding pattern winner that has not claimed theirs is gonna flash now. And we're just gonna flash them back to back. So there's either two of them or three of them. We're not sure how long we need to talk for. DM me and leave your address and I will get those in the mail. Any of anything outstanding that is not claimed by March 10th. No, by March 9th. We film again at March 10th. Anything that is not claimed by March 9th is going back in the bucket of like potential future giveaways. I think that's fair. Yeah, you have two weeks. Two weeks. This is like we're in, everyone knew we had a big milestone giveaway last week if you if you watch the channel. If so, this would be the time to check. So let us know. And March 9th is the cutoff. Other than that, after that, we're re-gifting things. All right. And the patterns for today. Oh, and I have things that are ready to go to the post office. I prepared the ones that people have claimed. So if you've claimed something and I haven't gotten it yet, it's probably here. Um, but I'm going to the post office Monday to send those out. And then I'm going to the post office again on like March 11th once people have had time to claim things. All right. And then I have some giveaway for today. We're going to give away two patterns. Yay. I um, love giveaways. I love giveaways too. They're really fun. I never win. Am oh, I, that's not true. I won because you won. Am I good at like sending them out? No. But I am good at um, maybe I digital do, patterns. I do like writing them. Well, I, I, wasn't, I didn't want to give out away patterns from my shop yet because I don't want it to be like, oh, that's so easy for her. You know, it costs her nothing. It's yeah. like... And I do, I did buy, so I bought some Facebook Marketplace, like a bundle of cool vintage patterns on Facebook Marketplace for giveaways. And when we run out of those, then we'll start, sure. whatever. But, um, okay. The first one is Prairie Schooler, book number 26, original cardstock. Now this is a wedding slash birth sampler. It's wedding birth sampler number two. So if you've been looking for like an 80s, 90s style vintage birth or wedding sampler, this is for you. And... Use the word house because they're both in houses if you want this one. Love don't it. use the word giveaway. Don't be, you have to be at least 18. Don't use the word giveaway or anything like that that would indicate there's a contest happening. Don't be a troll. You need to subscribe to the channel. Channel be cool if you like the video. Um, is there yeah, like else? the video. You can live anywhere in the world. Subscribe to us. But, but yeah, you can live anywhere in the world, but like you need to be at least 18. Yeah. And then the second one is this very cute little heart and hand. Very cute. Up seasonally appropriate. It's called Celebration Spring, and it's this cute little alphabet with a little bird on it. It's little flowers. Everybody loves a bird. And if you love alphabets, and again, this is heart and hand. And they're the people that do the tiny towns, right? I think so. Yeah. Let me see. Um, the stitch count because it's, it's tiny, tiny. tiny. It's tiny, tiny. It's so small that if you wanted to stitch it in the next two weeks before we mail it out as a giveaway, you could. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to see how how tiny. Because I didn't ask her and if it she wanted say. these. Okay. No. So if you want this one, um, use the word uh, bird. 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 B I R D. Bird. All right. And um, are you done? This will not be the longest video we ever put out. Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you if you are gonna check out the shop, thank you. Make sure you use Floss Tube Twenty so you get twenty percent off. And um. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Allison's dogs are freaking out. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.